Hank, you remember when you threw up Gogurt all over yourself on a plane? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was bad. Uh, 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 that was really bad. Wait, how yeah. old were you when you did that? Uh, like last year? No. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I had some some incidents on planes. <laughs> yeah. Me and I my remember... dad were driving to vacations for a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. On today's part of my take, the 2023 takeies are here. We have over 20 categories we have Blake of the Year. We have guest presenters. We have podcast listeners of the year. The AWL is going for eight in a row. Hopefully they get it. A huge, huge show. One of our favorite shows to do every single year. The Takeys are here, and they are brought to you by our friends at Chevy. Summer is here, and what better way to take advantage of it? all of it and all it has to offer then with the Chevy Silverado, Silverado Summer, think of all the possibilities from off-road adventures to DIY project and hardcore work. Silverado has the capability and technology to make this summer your best one ever with nine different Silverado models to choose from and engines that range from powerful Turbo Max to the 6.2 liter V8 and the Duramax diesel. You can count on Chevy power and performance to get anything done. Like many of you, we've been hitting the road a lot lately, and it seems like everywhere we go, there's an army of Silverados and Silverado owners, so shout out to all of you. Chevy Silverado is the best truck in the game. Game recognizes game, so shout out all the people who own Chevy Silverados, and shout out all the people who will one day own a Chevy Silverado. I'm talking to you right now, so head to Chevy Dot com and check out Silverado and all the Chevy trucks, the official trucks, a part of my take, the best trucks ever created, the Chevy Silverado. They're one of our favorite sponsors, and they're sponsoring the takeies. So thank you to Chevy, Chevy.com. Check out the Silverado and all the Chevy trucks. I'm going to give my first takey away right now, the takey for best truck of the year, the Chevy Silverado. So go check it out right now, Chevy.com. The official trucks a part of my take. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Pardon My Take. Today is Friday, July 14th. And welcome to the 2022-2023 Takeys. Yeah. yeah. The most magical night of the sports year. We're so glad that you guys could join us again. The seven-time award-winning listeners. Ooh. Going for eight. The, the eight, Pete. Never been done before in sports. Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Lewis U Hamilton. Yeah. UNC women's soccer. Yeah. Dynasty. Are the are the AWLs bad for podcast listeners? It might be. So there are 28, I believe, awards we're giving out tonight. Uh, just as an aside, we were so stupid to do an award show uh, in the middle of the summer because then we always get just confused about when the year starts and ends. Yeah. I was actually, like, I hate that we did that. That was really dumb of us. I was thinking that the other day, like, shout out to baseball. They have their entire season in one year. It's beautiful. It's, it's the best thing about the game. You don't have to think about anything else. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, it happened in this year. What do you mean? What, when's the Super Bowl? No, these are the takeies from around last year this time to around this year this time. Mm -hmm. We've got some great, great categories, some, some classics, some repeats. We've got some originals. It's a good show. I'm excited. Uh, by the way, cheers to everyone. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to the takeies. Cheers. We're all dressed up if you're watching on the YouTube. Uh, cheers. Hmm. It's a Friday. Drink Shotgun along. Shotgun Billy. Oh. Yeah. Drink along. Billy doesn't even really drink anymore. What color you think of when you see that can? Depends on the blue. Logo or Let's the go. Blue. All right. Here yeah. we go. So, uh, 28 <laughs> awards we're giving out, give or take. Uh, we are going to get through all of them. We're going to have Blake of the Year towards the end. We're going to have the podcast listeners of the year towards the end. We're very excited for this program. We're ready to go. Should we kick it off? Should we get it going? We also have a few celebrity presenters of awards. Uh, mm -hmm. Any any last words before we get going with the takeys? I'm excited to see who wins. What year? Well, how many years? Is there eight takeys? Eight takeys. Yeah, we Jesus started in 2016. Christ. So this is 2023. Yeah. I'm going to say it right now. 10 takeys. We got to fucking. We got to do. Uh, no, I was going to say we got to do a live show. Oh, I'll, I'll be nude for the live show. We got to do a live show, 10 takeies. 
Vegas? This is a big time future us, bro. Yeah, no, but that's right okay. Now. That's two years from now. That'd be so cool, though. Yeah. Do it in Youngstown. Live show, decade. Hawaii. Ooh. Ooh. What about, okay, so hear he, 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 me out responsibly. Who cares? What if we did a live show <laughs> in Vegas? <laughs> what, what if we did a live show in Vegas, sold it out, took that money, put it on red? Mm. <laughs> that would be fun. Responsibly. It would be very It would be our hard work, fun. so that's responsible. Yeah, it's our hard work. Well, we'll think about it. I think we should do the 10th year live show okay. with special guests. I think we should do it somewhere random. Okay. Uh, how about Las Vegas? Or what if we did like a pop up? We're just like, hey, we're here. We're just in a random spot. What about Black Rock, Colorado? Okay. That's a Red good Rocks. Place. Black Hawk. Okay. Temecula. Meet us in Temecula. Afghanistan. Mm. Just throwing out some things. North Korea. A lot of riders. Kim Jong Un. Huge AWL. Mm hmm. Big uh, time. Okay. Prague. He, him and Jake both getting holes in one all the time. Yes. Not fake. Totally real. Real, real, real. Your holes in one are just as real, Jake. Uh, okay. Should we get going? Let's do it. So first up, the Takey Award for two online person of the year. Hmm. It's been a lot of people who've been two online this year. Deep field. We have uh, nominees. Elon Musk. Elon Musk bought Twitter, got very much online, bought it as a joke uh, to basically troll everyone. And then... He also got revealed to have a burner account that is uh, his son, I think. He's he's cosplaying as his son. Yeah. Some of his burner account tweets were, this is my first tweet. Uh, crypto is confusing. It's a three-year-old, so mm -hmm. that would understand. Yeah, it's confusing for me, too. Only one person is following me. Sigh. Uh, <laughs> That's relatable. For the love of God, can someone follow me? Hello, <laughs> please follow me. And then finally, his last tweet from his burner account is uh, on April 24th. I will finally turn three on May 4th. In the words of Elon Musk, interesting. Interesting. So he was very much online. Concerning. So online that you can't get. You, it's very online. He was very online all year. Well, he spent $44 billion because he's so online. To get online. Yeah. Uh, Billy. Billy Football is nominated for this take. All right. Very oh, much no. online this year. Oh, Billy broke out in a cold sweat the other day when Reddit was down. Oh, he's like, yeah. Where, where am I going to learn about what I should what I should think yes. at any given moment? Yes. Billy was very much online all year. A lot of, uh, I, saw, I saw a study. I saw a reply to. Uh, we're still waiting for the picture of Jimmy Butler's mom with Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been able to <laughs> find that. He keeps claiming what well, was on TikTok. I don't know how to find it. Uh, so Billy was very online. What did you say, Billy? You were pretty online this year. Uh, yeah, it's because I'm always grinding, looking for stories, doing mm -hmm. my job. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's where I, I got to sift through a lot of trash to find some gold. Uh, and put it out there. So yeah. I'm, well, just, I mean, I'm glad to be here. You did break the the we got weights and fish story because yeah. of how online you are. Yeah. Yes. Look. So congrats. Yeah, I've I've realized one new thing that Billy says when you can tell that he's about to lie about something or, or quote misinformation. He'll say, It has been said that and then he'll go on and say the thing. Yes. That's the new that's a new trigger phrase that he's got. Yes. Yes. Um next up we have uh Michael Palace from Gang at Gang Green Palace. Uh, this was during, I believe, the Thursday night football game Dolphins versus Bengals when Tua got severely concussed off mm -hmm. of a concussion he had the week before, uh, got stretched off in, a, in, in uh, a cart. He tweeted, I don't give a shit if you cancel me over this, but Tua concussion equals January 6, 2021. Mm. So very yeah. much online. Very, very online. <laughs> it's basically taking the most online things and melding them together. Uh, his brain's having an insurrection <laughs> against itself. <laughs> it was... Quite a take. Uh, next up in the two online category, we have Chris Sims, also related to Tua. So we we talked about a couple months ago the uh, passing of the founder of Tuanon. Chris Sims uh, got triggered about a man passing away uh, who had four kids, was a veteran, and he was like, well, he was mean to me online, so I don't mourn him. Yeah, he was basically like, uh, well, yeah, I guess it's sad that that he passed away. But also he was the guy that used to he used to say mean stuff to me. And, you know, I don't have any time for like he was a symbol of <laughs> larger hate on the Internet. No, he just liked football yeah. a whole lot. And he was funny and creative. And he basically makes our jobs because the fans that are that uh, passionate are the people who listen to the shows. But, yeah, Chris Sims, a little too online to not be able to take a step back and be like, 
oh, a man tragically lost his life leaving four kids. He was like, no, but remember that time he uh, he quote tweeted one of my my Tua takes. Mm -hmm. That was very mean. Once in a while, I get the feeling that is the top button that he's got button there. Just it cuts off the circulation to the brain a little bit, it's like a little Missoula ish, a little bit. And then finally, uh, we have RG 3s thread, which. People are still talking about to this day, mm -hmm. if the Denver Nuggets players each had a dipping sauce, what sauce best describes them? And they were all the exact same description. Yes. Like sometimes tangy, sometimes sweet. Yes. So uh, RG3 very much online when his uh, contribution to the NBA Finals was, what are these guys as sauces? Yeah, he had actually a really great tweet uh, a couple days ago. It was the thread that was going around. It put a picture of you at your job. Oh, yeah. Doing something awesome. And the picture was just him and his family. Oh, nice. Because that's his most important job is being a dad. He should have done it as uh, him as uh, Subway RG3. Remember yeah. that? Remember yeah. when they made an RG3 out of Subway sandwiches? Out, out of meat. Yeah. yeah that, that was, was a great sick. one. sick. Uh, okay. The winner. Drum roll. The winner of the two online person of the year goes to Elon Musk. Congrats, oh. Elon. Congrats to Elon. Right, Elon. He was so online, he bought a website to be more online and control all the online. There also mm -hmm. was a report that uh, not only did he have a burner account, but he uh, was able to seize an account that he wanted for a very long time because he bought it. So there could be a chance he bought Twitter for $44 billion just to get a single account back. All of our, it, it, He probably bought it so that he could log in to his ex-girlfriend's account and then refollow himself yes. on Twitter. Yes. So uh, congratulations to Elon. Wins the first takey of the year. Uh, we will we, we will have all the takeys listed on Twitter tomorrow. We will congratulate Elon. Hopefully he Come on the show, yeah. yeah. Yeah, come on the show. You're two online Discuss. person of the year. You'll see it because you're online. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, next up, PFT. Okay, next up we have the Just Chill Out Man of the Year. Mm. A lot of great nominees for the Just Chill Out Man of the Year. Uh, first off, we have Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is nominated for saying that he wanted to pour honey all over LeBron James. Ooh. When LeBron James said that if you see him in a fight, him and a grizzly bear, uh, better start rooting for the bear. And, and Shannon Sharp said, well, I'm going to pour honey on you, King. Oh, the king part is the, the part. The king that's, part is tough. That's yeah. the weird part. He wants, he, as somebody pointed out, he wants to glaze yeah, the, LeBron James, yeah, quite wh literally. What was the what was the exact uh, quote? Is I'm pouring honey on you, king, or something like that? I'm, I'm pouring honey on you, goat? Yeah, pouring. Let's see. I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. I'm pouring honey on you, goat. It's illegal to kill a bear unless under attack. Mm -hmm. Laughing face, laughing face, laughing face. He wants to, he wants to pour honey all over LeBron. Mm-hmm. Uh, next nominee is Shannon Sharp. Oh, for trying to fight Ja Morant. Oh, at the game. So just chill out. Just chill out, Shannon. Yeah, just maybe he was on some. Yeah, he may have had a point. Uh, next nominee is Shannon. Well, no, I mean he definitely needs to chill out if he's trying to fight Ja Morant. Yes, he's going to get shot. Yes. <laughs> By the way, we should have done <laughs> well, number just one do person it. you don't want to fuck with. Just <laughs> an honorary takey. Just throw it out there. We'll just give the takey. Uh, we should do gun wielder of the year, Ja Morant. You want it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we forgot to do job. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah good one, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was okay. two years ago. That was two years ago. Come on, Billy. So he can't win. Yeah. So b make that graphic too. John uh, Morant, gun wielder of the year. Uh, Shannon Sharp is also nominated for protesting Skip Bayless. Yes. When uh, Skip was talking about what the NFL schedule was going to be like within minutes of Demar collapsing on the field, and then Shannon Sharp just didn't go on the show the next day. Yeah. Chill out. Um, also, I'm going to toss an extra nominee, Shannon Sharp. Oh. For when he cried on the air saying goodbye to Skip Bayless and thanking him. Who's going to win this? He said that he wasn't going to cry, and then he proceeded to cry everywhere. And then the final nominee is Shannon Sharp for uh, grabbing my elbow and approaching me from behind and getting all horned up because he saw my ass. Okay. Thought I was a chick. This is going to be... The winner of the Just Chill Out Man of the Year Wait, is brought to you... I'm, I'm, yeah, saying, okay, I'm yeah, saying it. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Relax. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. The winner is brought to you... Via celebrity guest. Oh, this is one you've got. Or did Hank no. get it? Hank, I got did it. You get this? Hank All got right. it. Nice. Give you a clue. We haven't seen any of these. He's he's been an award presenter, I think, every year. Nice. Shoe nice. Hey, everyone, shoe nice again. <laughs> well, basically, as a guest on this episode of Pardon My Take. I'm going to put on my game face 
and announced that the Takey for Just Chill Out Man Award goes to Shannon Sharp for his weirdly erratic Instagram posts <laughs> defending LeBron's honor. Just chill out, Shan. Either way, we'll see you next episode of Pardon My Take. Thank you. Thanks, Shoe Nice. I bet Shoe Nice could eat Shannon Sharp if, if he was covered in honey. Well, I was going to say, was there an extra option to pay for him to just eat a whole thing of honey? Because he probably would have done it. Uh huh. That was like, of, of all the things Shoe yeah. Nice has eaten, he's eaten, fi- I watched him once eat 50 tampons. Most edible. <laughs> like, he ate a full cactus. Mm-hmm. Guy can eat anything, he eats cans. I, me and Max were talking about this the other day because I used to watch his videos when I was younger. And then I remember when I got into Barstool, I was like, oh, I got to look up Shoe Nice. I bet you he's super famous. Yeah. Somehow, mm-hmm. he didn't, I, I don't know how he didn't catch. He needs to He needs to become like a professional eater. He he's like eater. Steve he will do to, his dad. He yeah. needs to compete in, in the Plimpton seat on uh, the 4th of July hot dog eating contest. Ch- chugging yeah. Everclear isn't really sustainable. Yeah, but he does more than that. Did you hear about the 50 tampons? He's done everything. So I actually didn't know who Shoe Nice was until I started working here. Yeah, really. Legend of yeah. the internet. I, it's, it's well, Billy, your brain has been formed by here. So yeah. like you, you've no, always I, been in this world. No, no, the, no, the I video was watching Shoe Nice before, like probably OG. on Barstool Sports is what his yeah. point no, is. No, I was like yeah. nine, I was nine years old watching Shoe Nice. The Elmer's glue video was was the one yeah. that really yeah. put put the hook into me. It listen. He just drank a full bottle of Elmer's Elmer's glue. I'll just say Shoe Nice being alive. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. He's a special human. We should nominate him for still alive person. Of the year. Yes, he'll he'll get thrown in there. Uh, okay, good job. Congratulations, Shannon Sharp, rubbing honey on <laughs> LeBron. He has a quite a LeBron. Do you think it's LeBron obsession? I think it started as a backlash against against Skips, right? And but, then, but then he he totally bought into the point where he's fantasizing about rubbing honey all over. Yes, him. yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, okay, next up, lateral of the year, lateral Ooh. of the year, new category. So. The nominees are Cliff Kingsbury from going from head coach of the Arizona Cardinals to uh, assistant coach at USC. So that's a nice lateral move. Lateral Pretty move. much the exact same. Just as prestigious. Yeah, just as prestigious. I thought he was in. I thought he was taking a year off. No, that was that was that didn't happen. He just went to really. Thailand for a month and just banged it all out of his system. Yeah. Um. We have uh Derek Carr. From going from the Las Vegas Raiders, uh, where he didn't make the playoffs, to the New Orleans Saints, where he probably won't make the playoffs. Yeah, and also, I mean, in Las Vegas, what do you do? You gamble and you drink. Yeah. What do you do in New Orleans? You gamble, gamble and you, you drink. drink. Unless you're Derek Carr. Mm-hmm. You do none of those things <laughs> in that city. Uh, next up, we have Jacoby Myers for the lateral, uh, the Patriots lateral, to lose a game to the Raiders. Uh, one of the funniest moments in, can we actually put in that clip of Hank? No. React to Copyright. Yeah. We yeah. Should. Max nope. will put in that clip. Keep nope. in mind that was the only time the whole season we recorded early. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's just happened to be. Not Mac, cool. Mac Jones getting stiff armed by, by Chandler Jones. Yes. Oh, man. So let's actually revisit that moment. It's a, it's a tie game. We got a tie Patriots game. That's true. All right. So oh. That sets the stage. Oh, my God. Oh. He just, little lateral. He just lateral. threw it back. Do they know People, it's a tie game? Rugby. This is dangerous. No. Oh, my God. 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 Raiders. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was the crazy. Oh Everybody my God! God. Jets can still. And then we can. And then the last nominee is Kevin Durant from going from the Brooklyn Nets, who uh, with Kevin Durant probably would have been a second round exit, maybe a first round exit. You know, they did go first round exit to the Phoenix Suns, who were a second round exit. Mm-hmm. So, good job, Kevin. Good, good lateral move. Okay, uh, do we have a cameo, Hank? Sure do. Yes. Okay, let's go, Hank. So this award is brought to you by. Oh, nice. That's that's smart. Hello, AWLs. It's me, Tim <laughs> Woods, and I'm here to present the takey for lateral of the year. And it is absolutely none other than Jacoby Myers and his lateral against the Raiders. Jacoby, come on up here and get your award. Come on. Oh, oh okay. All right, MC. I'm seeing that he has handed the award over to Chandler Jones. It do be like that sometimes, though. <laughs> oh, you, you would think it do be like that. <laughs> oh, oh, you man. just 20 sided died inside, Hank. That is so fucking good. 
Tim Wood should just present all of our awards <laughs> yeah. next year. I actually, he should be at the live show. Yes. Oh, he should he should be the live show. Yeah. We could just be in attendance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So lateral of the year. Hank, any thoughts on that? Could I mean that was the, the lateral. Yeah, I mean, I think it was kind of unfair nominations. There was no actual other laterals besides the Jacoby Myers one, so it was a little bit slanted, but that's fine. What about Derek Carr? Not a lateral. No, there were other lateral laterals. moves. That's different than a lateral. That's yeah, so the same thing. Okay. Uh, PFT, what do you got next? Okay, next up. This is a great award. I, we love this award. It's Pervert of the Year. Last year, things got a little out of hand with the Pervert Award. We gave it to an Italian guy who's only turns out 10% Italian. And then it proceeded to uh, absolutely destroy his personal life on the golf course. So um, we're not calling Max that anymore. We're not using the P word. Nope. Um, but the nominees this year for Pervert of the Year are... Zach Wilson for banging his friend's mom. Or sorry, his mom's friend. His mom's friend. His mom's friend. His mom's friend. Zach Wilson nominated, and then I guess his life kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. um, next up, Dan Orlovsky. Dan Orlovsky, pervert of the year nominee uh, for posting screenshots of him on Twitter, and he's very clearly using incognito mode for who knows what reason. I guess he just doesn't want people to find his personal information. Yeah, and also Dan Orlovsky for writing an entire blog post about how he doesn't masturbate. He doesn't masturbate on by, the road. by not ever uh, looking at a woman. Yeah. Dan Orlovsky is basically in the Taliban. Yes. Ne never being in a room with a woman and just crushing game film. Yeah, in his brain, constantly, it's just my wife. My wife. He's like yeah. Borat. Yes. Next nominee is Italian people, just in general. Mm -hmm. Italian people nominated for pervert of the year. Max, that includes you. Uh, does not include Max Homa. Okay, I was going to say, because Max Homa is Italian. He's 10% Italian. 10% Italian. So he's like the letter P. Okay. Not pervert. Just oh, the letter big. P. My children have all been nominated. Uh, next up, we have Livy Dunn. Livy Dunn is nominated for Rising Up Baby Gronk. Oh. Gave, Baby Gronk gave her a side hug, though. Kind of mm -hmm. curved her a little bit. Yeah. Um, so a lot of great nominees. And our winner of Pervert of the Year. Hello, this is Kelly Mortensen of Milf Manor here to present the Taki Award of Pervert of the Year. And the winner is, drum roll please, Zach Wilson of the New York Jets. Congratulations, Zach. We're so proud of you. Anyway, Nice work. And uh, if you keep your balls out of the dirt, maybe you could pull a couple come from behind wins. And we all know that you're more than a man than what most girls can handle. So we hope you enjoy this award and we're super thrilled. But you're the one. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly. Wow. Thank you, Kelly. That's beautiful. Huge fan of her work. Yeah, really. Huge fan of her work. Shout out Milf Manor. <laughs> yes. Milf Manor. Big shout out. Uh, okay. Next up. We have fall of the year, fall of the year, takey fall of the year. I don't know if we had this last year, uh, but the nominees are Jason Derulo falling at the Met Gala. That was so funny. Yes. Incredible. Incredible. We have Joe Biden, not once, but twice. Uh, he fell off his bicycle and then he fell uh, giving commencement to Air Force. Uh, Air Force. Yep. Uh People say there was a sandbag. I think he might just be old. There was a wire that was next to him. Okay. And it looked like it was going to jump up and get him. Yeah. So he had to he had to act fast, and he wasn't fast enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Will Levis falling in the draft. Friend of the show, but he did fall. He fell. He, he fell. fell. That's undisputable. He yes. fell, but he fell to a good place. It's out of respect. Yeah. Out of respect. Uh, and then our last nominee is the tree at the 17th tee at the Masters. Mm-hmm. Who Big forget. time fall. It fell, but... Did it really fall? Because it got taken away in like five minutes. Yes. And still incredible that no one was hurt. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the masters do, but they... The patrons were safe. Maybe. Do you think someone might have died and we just would never know? Yeah, they just bury them. Yeah. Getting under the buried at Augusta is pretty sick. Yeah, would under be, the new yeah, tree. Yeah. Big, big dimple head move right there. They'd yeah. have to name a bridge after you or something. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. The winner. Drum roll. It's President Joe Biden. Congrats. Congrats, President. Guy just can't stop falling. And it is funny every time. He's addicted to it. First and real it's, win. it's also a great litmus test for his first real win. <laughs> nice, Billy. Uh, Sorry. It's also a great litmus test of who it just takes things way too seriously online. Mm -hmm. because yeah, you, we should all be able to gather around and join hands when a president eats shit. It's like puke videos. 
nut shots, falls. Mm -hmm. I can laugh at all of them. Yeah, they're great. They're great. I hope he falls seven more times. Yeah. I I actually, when I, when I, when he fell and I tweeted it, I was like, look at him just pointing at a random object being like, kill that object. Uh, someone was like, would you make fun of your grandmother if she fell? I was like, well, my grandmother's dead and she's not the president. Mm -hmm. So you kind of sign up to get made fun of by yeah. becoming president when you fall, because guess what? Walking is one of the first things we learn to do. Yeah. I now I'm trying to think how many times I fell this year. It was probably three or four times. A couple trips, a couple trips. But you know what you had? If you're young, you can play it off. Take that next step and then just pretend like you were, you know, you meant to do it. Yeah, exactly. She'd be like, oh, no. Well, yeah, who put that there? Yeah, exactly. He did do that. He, he did. was like, who the fuck put, put that thing there? It was excellent alertness on his part. Yeah, who put that platform there that I've been standing on for 20 minutes? Who put the earth beneath my feet? <laughs> this is bullshit. All right, so congratulations to President Joe Biden. Uh, next up, we have the Creeper of the Year Award. The Ooh, Creeper of the Year. First, first nominee, Vince McMahon, mm. getting fired from his own job that he created and invented for, I don't know, probably like a baker's dozen sexual assault cases. Felt like a lot. It was a lot. Um, but then getting brought back into the fold and then selling for billions of dollars. Yeah. And well, all time creeper comeback story. Yeah. It's touching really to see. Next. Some some may even say it pays to be a creeper. R. If Kelly you just got next. Yeah, if you just look at Vince McMahon. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Ime Udoka. Oh. Former coach of the Boston Celtics. Nominated for redacted. We don't we don't know. What did he do? It was redacted. Hank, did you ever dig into that? No. Nothing nothing to find. Nothing there was nothing there. Ring camera. Well then that makes no sense. Why would they fire him? That would be a bad organization that would do that. Yeah. Well actually, you know what? Let's ask our Celtics fan. Um Sure. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, was, that was great. Great. What what Billy? Never mind. No, say it. It's the take. You just said wait. You can't wait us. Then never mind. They asked him to stop coming back to the house, and he just went in the back door. Ooh, oh, nice okay. little anal sex joke. No, no, it wasn't. Like literally, they caught him on ring camera. You know, you know the whole story. I don't. I still don't. This is not true. <laughs> no, okay, I tell don't. Us. No, like, like really, tell everything. us the whole said, story. Story you're about to hear is wife. based off in and he factual just went events. In the back door, and they caught him on the back door ring camera. Where'd and you then fucked her in the ass. Sure. Okay. Where Where is this coming from? I thought we all knew this. I did not know any of this. No. Because it's not true. Is this another Reddit thing? Allegedly. Billy? <laughs> this is the Reddit thing. I'm starting to think Billy should have won two you online. For sure. Here. No, for no. Sure. <laughs> okay. And uh, the final nominee. I just nominee, thought Joe Mazzola was a better fit. Yeah. Huh. Final nominee. Who? The wife? <laughs> final nominee for Creeper of the Year is Darren Ravel, mm. friend of the podcast. Chief Darren Ravel correspondent. Darren Ravel no. himself. Nominated for uh, the J.J. Watt interception when J.J. Watt was playing his last game and uh, went to go talk to special needs children. And Darren Ravel uh, stepped in front of the kids to congratulate and give a big hug to J.J. Watt and congratulate him first. It was uh, quite a video that he willingly put out. And uh, what what did he say? He, didn't he say something like, I waited all work? to get into position for 18 minutes. Crying emoji, crying emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 18 minutes. 18 minutes of, of boxing out kids with Down syndrome. Great yes. job, Darren. Yeah. Uh, and the presenter for Creeper of the Year is brought to you by... Hey, we are the Island Boys here to present the Tacky for Creeper of the Year. Shout out to Darren Ravel. You are a creeper. You win Creeper of the Year. Nice job not letting J.J. Watt celebrate his retirement with special, special needs, needs children. children. Hank's a bitch. The Island Boys are back. They are back. They, did they ever leave? I'm an Island Boy. Well, they, I mean, they were on... From the, the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, no, that was another Billy special. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, B Billy, when we were putting together this list, Billy's like, I don't know if we can use the Island Boys. I think that they were like with Jeffrey Epstein. And then he, he showed me a picture. And within five seconds, I debunked it as being an AI produced image that is definitely not real. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but they're from Florida. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was all starting to add up. Billy, we should just give... Elon Musk and Billy win the two online guy of the guy. Yeah, guy it's the co-winners. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Retroactively. Uh, Dude, okay. I have to be online every day. It's hard. You uh, go deep, though. Billy, so I do know. we. Yeah. I know, but we you don't guys, believe you guys grew up before seen. the internet. Yeah. So, like, you, like, know what reality is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, uh, let's take a quick break for an ad and then we have some more takeies on the other side. Okay, quick break for Roback. The Roback question, it is one of our favorite questions. Roback question, PFT. What's your favorite piece of Roback gear? That's a great question. Great Roback question. Great Roback question. I'm going to say the uh, the dinosaur polo shirt. Ooh, The shirt nice. with the dinos on, all in pastel colors. Yeah. Just wore that on the course the other week. Solid, stretchable, breathable. I uh, Dinos. I, I love the Roback shorts, and here's why. They have zipper pocket. The That's zipper nice. pocket is huge for shorts. Keep those keys in there. You know you need that one pocket. It's not all zippers yeah. because then you get a little tangled up. It's just one zipper pocket for your keys in the Roback shorts. You can put anything in there that you don't want to fall out. Roback. Anything at all. Anything at all. Roback. I like also the Dino shirt. The great part about the Dino shirt, it's got the best dinosaur on it, the T-Rex. Yes. That's right. Not the Allosaur. It's got the T-Rex right on there. The T-Rex. Roback is our one of our favorite uh, clothing companies. Most comfortable clothes out there. Q-zips, polos, joggers, shorts, sh- uh, everything at Roback.com. Hoodies, Roback.com. Use code TAKE for 20% off your first purchase. Roback.com. Promo code TAKE. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Promo code TAKE. $20 off your first purchase. Performance gym shorts are a must-have for the summer. Roback.com. Promo code TAKE for 20% off your first purchase. Back to the takeies. Okay, next takey. This is uh, Jake Marsh's favorite award. It is the Wild of the Year. Wild of the Year. Uh, Jake, uh, I'll let you just say after each nominee uh, how wild. So uh, what what are you going to say? Billy looked like he's had a revelation. Billy, you got a revelation? No, Shohei Otani just hit a home run. Okay, well, we can talk about that now. Congratulations, Billy. Who who hit memes first pick? Memes first pick. Uh, Okay. Uh, wild of the year. First up, we have Nikola Jokic wearing a Denver Nuggets sweatshirt as a five-year-old Serbian boy, and then 20 years later, 23 years later, winning an NBA title, the first in franchise history with the Denver Nuggets. That's wild. That is wild. Uh, Jake, wild? Yeah, very wild. I mean, you would think a guy from international waters would wear... A big market team, no. not the Denver Nuggets. No, I think wild. that's the first time Serbia has been referred to as international waters. <laughs> waters yeah, I mean anything outside of the U.S. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Next up, we have uh, Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey playing against each other in the Super Bowl, and their mom was there. Oh, that's wild. That's it's pretty wild, right, Jake? They're brothers. The brothers. It's crazy. I mean, there's 32 Wait, teams. Wait, is that crazy or wild? Uh oh, this is wild. This okay. Is wild. The end. It's the highest amount. There's wild, and then this is wild. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is wild. This is wild. <laughs> okay. This is wild. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have in the NCAA tournament, uh, Florida Atlantic played the Tennessee Volunteers in what was it, the Sweet 16? And the athletic director for both programs, they were brothers. Oh man, that's wild. Pretty freaking wild, if you ask me. So it was Danny and Brian White yep. going up against each other. I mean, think about this. There's like 363 teams. Yeah. Let alone those two teams making the tournament. How many? Let alone those two teams being in the same region. Let alone them playing each other in Madison Square Garden. Okay, mm. but how many brothers are there? That are both athletic directors? No, just brothers in general. Millions. Okay. And these are the two. There so, might be more uh, than wait, billions. I'm, I'm doing the math. There might though. be billions or trillions. There probably is billions there of might brothers. Be trillions. There's billions yeah. of brothers. Yeah. Billions For this to them. happen... Wild. Wild. Yeah. Okay. But I'm doing the math now. You said 360. I think there's 363 now. 363 D1 teams, teams. The brothers face off. How many NFL teams are there? 32. And bro, So that, okay. I'm, I don't want to jump ahead. That sounds more wild to me. Yeah. Well, oh, let's yeah. see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. uh, and then finally, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers drafting Joey Porter Jr. Named after his father, Joey Porter, who played for the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers. Wow. That. Jake? Crazy. I saw a picture, too. Joey Porter Jr. at the Super Bowl that the Steelers won. won. How did he get tickets? Oh, because his dad was on the team. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's wild. That is wild. Okay, winner. Jake, do you want to say it? Presented by Jake Marsh. 
The Kelsey's. Oh, mm -hmm. the Kelsey mm -hmm. Bowl. Truly wild. Mm -hmm. And not the first Super Bowls featuring brothers in the last 10 to 12 years. Wait, so that makes it less wild. Kind yeah. of competitors. Yeah. Fuck. Well, it's of the year. Of the year, that's the true. Year, good, yeah. Point, yeah, good point, good point. Who are, you always get us out of That this. shows how unbiased yeah. this, the, the judging is. What? We're just giving it up to, to competitors. doesn't matter. Oh, podcasters? Wow. Well, they are. Wild. We'll see what happens when we get to well, the... Well, it's their mom, too. Yeah, it's really oh, their mom. Oh, you're giving it to their mom. Their mom. We're giving it to their I mom. I think her name's Donna. Yeah, Donna Kelsey wins it. She's got wild ovaries. She had two <laughs> childs, two children who then ended up in the Super Bowl. Truly wild. Uh, Dad really didn't get any shine. No, that's a mom's time to get shine. Yeah, but the dad could have gotten in the mix a little bit. He probably didn't want the shine. Football I, guy. That's fine. That's fine. But I just would have liked to. I don't even know who the dad is. He's probably just a soccer fan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we got up next, PFT? We have next up of the year. Ooh. Who's next? Ooh. Who's next in the world of sports? First nominee, Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk <laughs> nominated uh, for getting rizzed up by Livy Dunn. Who could forget? Did he get it, rizzed up or did he rizz? I think he got rizzed up because Livy went in for the hug. He gave her a side hug. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to say, Billy? I mean, Big L to Drip King. Yeah, Big, Big L, L to Drip King. Baby, Baby Gronk might be the new Drip King. Trust yeah. Tree, what's rizzing up? I mean, I know, so I don't have to tell you. Yeah, rizzing. You don't know rizzing up, Jake? No, I don't. Yeah, uh, it's when you uh, when you put the riz on someone. Yeah, when you meet Livy Dunn and get a hug. <laughs> yeah. Side what does hug. that mean? No, it's when you riz them. Your dad may have rizzed up your mom. Okay. I'm getting it now. Okay. You get it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Sounds like you've never risked. Yeah. You Sounds like I mean, it. I've yeah. done a lot of You're rizzing. You're rizzless. Next I've done nominee a lot of rizzing. is Baby Diggs. Baby Diggs also might be next up. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling in the one handed catches. Everything. Everything. Calling out Baby real. Gronk. <laughs> baby Diggs is, I mean, he is electric. Yeah. You guys know what Riz is short for? Charisma. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, baby, baby digs. I love baby digs. I love baby digs. Do you love looking at baby digs? I love looking at baby. This digs. This highlight reel is better than baby Gronk. One of my favorite things to do is go online and look for baby digs. Yeah, just pictures of baby digs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's it's wonderful. He is electric. It's a great way to spend a boring afternoon. Yes. Uh, next up, we have Charlie Woods. Ooh, Siwoo nominated. Siwoo. Siwoo. That's right. I mean, I I almost feel bad putting him in this category because he's almost he's almost there. He is. He's getting there. Yeah. Next up is Connor Bedard. Mm. Let's get Bedard in here. Yes. Future star for the Chicago Blackhawks. Already better than Connor McDavid. Yes. Future, uh, why did I impulsively buy season tickets the night that we got the number one pick? But that's, that feels good. Also nominated, we have Victor Wimbledon uh, from uh, France. France. From France, the Frenchman. Not played in Summer League. Bust. Oh. oh. Okay. I like that take. I like that take, Hank. And here to present the award for next up of the year is the greatest soccer player of all time, World Cup champion, Lionel Messi. Messi, take it away. Hi, I am Messi. <laughs> it is my honor to present the 2023 Taki for next up of the years. And the winner is Charlie Woods. Charlie, I know you are a soccer fan. So good to go. I wanted to say you have gone next. You are so cool and rad and strong and good at golf. <laughs> bro, you are a beast, bro. Congrats, Charlie. Bueno, Charlie, so, so genial y sos un gran jugador de golf. Así que te mando mis felicitaciones. Acá le vamos y te saluda. Estamos viendo. Yeah. yeah, Charlie. I mean, I mean, Charlie. Not biased. Knew. Not biased. No, not biased. not biased at all, Charlie. No. I mean, he's he's going. He's virtually there already. Yes. He's he's going to win the PGA Tour, the entire thing, FedEx Cup, a Ryder Cup. Live, live. live. He's going to have it all. He's going to have all the titles. He's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. We are going to be, and we were the first to get on him. We were. We yeah. got. We saw Charlie Woods, and we jumped right on him. Yeah, we were also the first to get on Baby Diggs, but yeah, well, that's a different story. Ba look, Baby Diggs is a gateway <laughs> drug for then jumping on thirteen-year-olds. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, congratulations to Charlie Woods, who's listening right now. Shout out Charlie. What's up, Charlie? Yo, Char. Yo, see money. Hit us up. How you you want to come player? on the show? You want to? You want to maybe play some video games? What's up, player? Whatever you want to do. Want to watch Baby Diggs highlights? 
Uh, okay. <laughs> this is one of our most prestigious awards. Uh, we've done this every year. It is the John Madden Still Alive Person of the Year in memory of Tommy Lasorda, sponsored by Queen Elizabeth. Uh, takey. Should we do a moment of silence? Moment of mm-hmm. silence for Queen Elizabeth. So for everyone who knows, uh, we have done this. Uh, I think we have successfully. Hold on, Max. Hold on. Don't pull it up. We have we have successfully. I think we had Tommy Lasorda one year. We had John Madden, and then we had Queen Elizabeth last year. I think we're like three for four or three for three in the last three years mm-hmm. of the person dying who we have nominated for still alive person of the year. Um, so the nominees this year are. Lou Carnesecca, the St. John's, uh, f- famous St. John's head coach, 98 years old. Was that the press conference or was that a press conference looking dapper, spry? Patino's intro press conference. He looked great. Yeah. Uh, he looked great. Jake, can you do the math real quick and figure out how many Patinos that John Carnesecca has lived for? 98 years. Yeah. 98 Lou Car- years Lou yeah. divided. But how many Patinos has that been? 13 seconds. Mm-hmm. 13. Okay. I'll get back. Okay. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Sister Jean. Still alive. Very much still alive. Still alive. Witches, still kicking it. Witches don't die. Yeah. Uh, we have Damar Hamlin, who's still alive. So congrats still to Damar. Damar. Prayers for Damar. Prayers for Damar. Great story. Uh, we have... Or is, he, is he still alive or is he alive again? Alive again. For the second time. Alive again. We have Bill Russell. Still alive. Still alive. Congratulations. Good job, Bill. Come on. What? Did he die? Yeah. When? He died? Are you sure? This is a fucked up joke. We actually were just putting this in to see if Hank was paying attention. Uh, yeah. Okay. You are paying attention. Congratulations, Hank. John Rom's dad, still alive. Very much still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Turns out. Still alive. Yep. yep. Still alive. Still alive. 100%. And then finally, we have President Jimmy Carter. Still alive. Mm-hmm. Shrinking by the second. But still alive. He's been in hospice, I think, for eight months now. Yeah. Which is, I think that's a new record. Yeah. World record for that. I think he's just chilling. Yeah. I think I think he's just hanging out. He doesn't have to work anymore. Doesn't have to get on roofs and nail down tiles. Probably loving. This is his retirement. Yeah. By the way, Luke Harn's second 98 years, 3,090,528,000 patinos. That's wow. a lot of loads. That's a lot of patinos. Okay. Uh, we have a special guest to give out this award. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, boys. It's your old friend, Queen Elizabeth. I recorded this message the second I was nominated for Still Aloof Person of the Year last year. Because let's be honest, your track record with killing people is quite impressive. If this message is playing in the 2023 take is then it means I passed away. My dying wish is to make my son, Prince Harry, and his beautiful wife, Meghan Markle, the new king and queen of England. Please, if I ask you anything, make sure this is done for me. As for this year, the take you for still a live person of the year is President Jimmy Carter. I look forward to seeing Jimmy at the pearly gates shortly. Love you, boys. Also, my number for this episode is 69. Wow. Monarch is bitch. Shout out to <laughs> that Queen. was scary. Yeah. yeah, that was crazy. Well, she—I mean, she taped it when we nominated. She was the AWL. We have to have her as a recurring guest on the show. She's <laughs> very entertaining. <laughs> so, congratulations <laughs> to Jimmy Carter. Also, shout out Quigs. Uh, <laughs> bang, Jimmy Carter. Oh She's man, probably yeah. Still yeah. the life person of the year, and she also <laughs> did ask us. We need to make sure that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle become king and queen. I'm right on it. Yeah, those were her dying wishes. So. uh Congratulations to Jimmy Carter. Still alive. Very much. Uh, Most fucked up taking we do. The next <laughs> the next uh next category is for criminal of the year. Ooh. Criminal, we had a lot of lawbreakers this year. A lot of lawbreakers. Um first nominee is Donald Trump. Trump arrested twice. Yeah, Billy. Whatever. Whatever. Uh yeah. next nominee is Hunter Biden. Yes. That dude does a lot of crack. Yeah. He does he does so much. I don't know how much like a normal crack user uses crack, but he out cracks them all. And mm-hmm. bribery. And bribery. And, uh, and <laughs> prostitutes. Only, only one guy gets charged for bullshit. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, also nominated, we have Stetson Bennett. He got he got arrested. Mm-hmm. Uh, also the sod father for stealing the Super Bowl from Max's beloved Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, so this is a this is a biased. Max, you put this in? Still complaining about the sod? 
You were complaining about the you sock. You were complaining you about, were complaining the, about the sock. Sounds like you're still mad about the sock. You were complaining about the sock. Okay. And the final nominee is Chief Saholic. Ooh. Chief Saholic getting arrested for robbing banks, making money on the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, and Patrick Mahomes, I believe, Super Bowl MVP, and then absconding, running out on bail, and he's still on the road somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So Chief Saholic, wow. Hasn't been caught. Hasn't been caught yet. And so the award for Criminal of the Year is brought to you by... A special guest. A special Ooh. guest. Who could it be? Wow. That's, oh. a, that, that's an awesome t shirt. I didn't know. Hi there. Billy here to announce the 2023 Takey for Criminal of the Year. After a lot of competition amongst all the nominees, I'd like to announce that Chief Saholic has won Criminal of the Year. Currently, as I'm taping this video, he has not been caught and he made off with bank winnings that he stashed away, as well as Chiefs Futures and Patrick Mahomes MVP Futures. Chiefsaholic is really the last outlaw of the West, roaming from Kansas City to Oklahoma, even to Arizona for the Super Bowl on leave. He did not report to court and he's probably down in Mexico like many outlaws before him. You know, embodying the spirit of those like Josie Wales, Wild Bill Hickok, you know, and the wolf that he donned. The man ran across the plains in a way we haven't seen since the days of the West. Congratulations, Chiefsaholics. Hope Mexico is treating you well. And keep donning the mask, because one day we'll need you back. <laughs> there we go. Good job. That was a great cameo, job, Billy. Billy. The I, audio is much what, better on my phone. What are you What are you charging for cameo? Uh, like ten grand. Okay, nice. Oh, sick. Yeah. I, I, the thought just occurred to me: What if Billy was chief saholic this entire time? Oh, the perfect crime, and then he went to go investigate himself. Oh, I can't find him anywhere. Isn't that wild? Damn. Yeah. I've never mm. seen you two in the same room together, mm. or have I? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Just asking good. questions. Hmm. Okay. Uh, moving along, we have uh, choke of the year. Choke of the year. Uh, great nominees this year. A lot of chokes. We're gonna start with. Purdue, the Purdue Boilermakers, the mm. number one seed. Big choke. Choking as much as you could choke. Uh, Flor fa far Fairly Dickinson taking them down. Purdue just keeps getting worse and worse in March. I think they're just getting more and more Purdue. Yeah, they are. They're reaching their final uh, Purdue. Uh, to make sure that we uh, are very honest here, Brooks Kepka in the Masters did choke. Big time choke. That well, was a choke. He had assistance from Hank. Yep, he had assistance from Hank. Uh, speaking of Hank, we have uh, the Boston Bruins choking. Number one seed out. Uh, we also have the Milwaukee Bucks choking. Another one seed out. So That's fairness more, all, around, all around. More of a failure on their part than a choke. Yeah, and then we have uh, Grant Williams, who uh, had his famous... I'm going to make both free throws and then missed them both against Cleveland Cavaliers. And finally, the last nominee for choke of the year is Mark Zuckerberg in his jujitsu class uh, getting choked out, but maybe not. Uh, the winner of choke of the year, Mark Zuckerberg. Congratulations to Mark Zuckerberg. Good job, Mark. He Good got job, choked Mark. out in a jujitsu class and then went on full court press. Uh, with his PR team issuing a, a statement saying at no point during the competition was Mark knocked unconscious. That never happened. Mm -hmm. And he also had his coach come to his back saying that Zuckerberg's snores were really just effortful grunting. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't choked out, but he was. He, he got was, the choke of the year. He was just trying very hard, trying yeah. too hard. This goes along the lines of, of laughing at a president when they fall down. If you have made it your life's mission to have robots take over our entire lives, I'm going to laugh at you when you get choked out in your make-believe jujitsu tournament. Yes, and especially when you then uh, release a statement saying, at no point, at no point during the competition was Mark Zuckerberg choked out. I definitely would not have heard about this story had his PR person not <laughs> issued a public statement saying, hey, all those hilarious videos of my client getting ruthlessly choked out, those that's not real. Yeah. Don't look them up. Stop looking them up, please. I'm only raising awareness so that people do not retweet this. Yes, as it pertains to the choking out, it never happened. It never happened. It never happened, but it is the choke of the year, whether it happened or not. Well, he did get choked. Mm -hmm. We don't know if he got choked out. But he did get choked, and it was the most talked about choke of the year. So congratulations to Mark Zuckerberg for getting uh, choked out or effortly grunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have 
the wife guy of the year. Ooh. A lot of wife guys out there these days. Yes. Wife guy of the year nominees include RG3. Just huge, huge wife guy. Most of his posts are about his wife. He had the, the glamorous pregnancy shoot, maternity shoot that he put out. Also left but the game. Those are those are always really weird where somebody puts out like a, a combination of a maternity shoot, but also a boudoir shoot. Yeah. Like, look how look how hot and fuckable my wife looks when she's been fucked. Yes. She's pregnant. Ken Bone. Goes yeah. Crazy for those. He loves that shit. Remember Ken Bone? Yeah. Yeah. We should be we should do a takey presenter. Yeah. Yes. We should do a remember that guy of the year. Yeah. Just like guys that you fall by the wayside. Yeah. Ken Bone. Uh next nominee is JJ Watt mm. for retiring from football to spend more time with his wife. Yes. Pretty gay, if you ask me. <laughs> yes. Spending uh buying a soccer team with his wife. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> Next nominee is Dan Orlovsky for only thinking about his wife all the time and never jacking off. Never. Ever. And the winner of Wife Guy of the Year is, drum roll please, J.J. Watt. Oh! Wife Guy of the Year. Our good friend J.J. Watt. Congratulations. You do, in fact, have a wife. Yeah, way to love your wife, weirdo. Yeah. Shout you, out to you, Burnley. You kiss your wife with those lips? Mm, disgusting. <laughs> Um, Imagine being in an equal partnership with a woman and having feelings for her. When does the Burnley season start? I think it September or no yeah. August. Yeah, August. it's around football season, so I don't really pay attention. I'll jump on Burnley. I'm excited. Uh, it is so fucking hot in here. Yeah, but the Coors yeah. Lights, the cold Coors That's, Lights. Yeah. Billy, can you go check the AC one more time? Okay, okay. Please, please, please. I would kill for some AC. Right and make now. sure to take your beer with you. My my glasses are getting fogged up <laughs> it's, constantly. It's a it's a Five second walk and Billy yeah. reached over to grab his beer before he he's left. Gonna, he's gonna pour it out in the trash. <laughs> he so doesn't he can be like, "Look how many I drank, bros." <laughs> yeah. Hombres. Uh, Hombres. We know that move. Oh, I'm just going to the bathroom with my beer. No big deal. Did you guys finish yet? <laughs> I finished. What do you got, Billy? Nothing. Dude, it worked before. Can we leave the door open? Yeah. Is it bad for sound? <laughs> nah. Feels I, great I, for I me. I'm so, I, dude. Yeah. I keep I am like, put on your put on your mic. I, I'm uh, I, I my glasses just keep getting fogged up. It's it's insane. This is not, it's the hottest it's, it's ever been in here. Welcome to my world, big cat. Yeah, we're just fighting. We're just uh, basically getting the reps in for Vegas for the tenth year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Why Vegas? So that we can gamble. I guess we go to Atlantic City, go to Detroit. Let's do it on a go uh, to Joliet, a riverboat. <laughs> Oh. Done. Oh, Louisiana. Do we have one? Uh, we do in uh, East Chicago, Indiana. So yeah, we could do that. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, is it East Chicago or Indiana? I, I always forget. Yeah, you got screwed up by that. Real East bad. Chicago is in Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Is it college. Chicago? I'm not moving anymore. East Chicago, but it's Indiana. in Indiana. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next up. Oh, let's take a break for a quick ad. We're going to get back to the takeys in a second. They're brought to you by the Barstool Sportsbook, the all-new redesigned, better-than-ever Barstool Sportsbook. Better odds, smoother operation. We love the Barstool Sportsbook. I have some major investments that I'm putting into play on the Barstool Sportsbook right now. Um, Shohei Otani, MVP. I'm going to log that in. That's what I'm going with. Barstool Sportsbook is a must-have if you're a sports fan. If you're looking to get some action in on upcoming college football, MLB games, we've got the system, which is making a lot of money in Major League Baseball. If you want to stick it to the ownership of the Oakland Athletics, make a little cash on the side. The Barstool Sportsbook is where it's at. Terms apply. Must be 21 or over. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Download and sign up for the Barstool Sportsbook today. Okay, next up we have Coach in Waiting of the Year. A lot of coaches mm -hmm. that are waiting for their big shot. Uh, the first nominee, we have Eric Bieniemy, who is now offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders. He is he's the system. Mahomes yes. is a system quarterback. I got the system now. Yeah, so he is a coach in waiting. He's been in waiting for a while. We have John Shire, who is still not coaching Duke. We know Coach K is pulling the strings he's, behind him. He's lurking. Yes. He's hovering. Yes. We have uh, Jay Williams, who – is hoping to get the coaching job at Georgetown. He would entertain it if he was asked. He would entertain sure. it. And then we have Jay Wright, our good friend Jay Wright, who is coaching waiting for the Sixers and Knicks simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Drum roll. 
Okay, the winner of Coach in Waiting of the Year goes to Jay Williams. Congrats, Jay. Jay Williams. Jay Williams for tweeting January 11th, 2023. No one had asked him. No one had talked about it. He said, so people keep asking me, so I will answer. Georgetown basketball has always been a dream job. It has. It has. And um, so I said it January 11th, 2023. When do you think Patrick Ewing was fired? Uh, January. No, March 2nd. March 9th, 2023. Mm -hmm. So Patrick Ewing was still the coach at Georgetown when Jay Williams said, so people keep asking me, so I will answer. Georgetown basketball has always been a dream job. The weird thing is Jay Williams might not have been a worse coach than Patrick Ewing. Yeah, and well, I think what Jay Williams was thinking was like, hey, this is my shot. Be the first African-American coach at Georgetown. Yep. So it would have been huge. Would have been massive. Would have been massive. Uh, okay, so congrats to Jay Williams. Keep trying. One of the weirdest tweets. I hope year. he gets hired. <laughs> One of the weirdest. He doesn't coach. No one had talked about him. The guy still had a job, and he was like, hey. People keep asking me. I think it was his hacker. It was the same hacker was that same broke hacker. into account from earlier. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. That happens with him. Yes. Uh, next category is the worst person to fly with award. Ooh. Worst person to fly with. Ooh. We got a lot of strong nominees. First up is Odell Beckham for not getting up out of his seat, making the entire plane deplane. Yep. While he was uh, flying, not, not private, but he was flying on a commercial flight. East Coast to West Coast. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, everybody, I don't know why everyone had to get off the plane for him, but he certainly made them do it. I don't get, I don't understand that. Odell Beckham nominated. Next nominee is Anthony Bass's wife yeah. for spilling popcorn all over the plane and then making a flight attendant clean it up and then tweeting about how inconvenient, or by texting Anthony Bass, who then tweeted out how inconvenienced his wife was. Because she was four months pregnant. She was four months pregnant. She had a five-year-old. And a five-year-old. And, year and her five-year-old just spilled popcorn everywhere. Couldn't clean it up. Couldn't clean it up. Next nominee is that guy that opened the emergency exit on the South Korean flight to the United States. Yep. Opened it up before it landed. And then just everybody had to sit on the plane in a vacuum tunnel, essentially. Uh, that, Wild move. Okay, I just want to say. We all thought about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. When you see it, it's like seeing a cop's gun. Yeah. You're like, same thing. what if? What yeah. if I put the handles right there it's for a fire anybody alarm? To pull. If it was really yeah. that important, they wouldn't make it so easy for me to pull it. Yeah. Um, I'll just say it though. If I was on that plane, that kind of would have rocked. They got really hurt, didn't they? I don't think anybody no, got hurt. No, just the guy right next to the window gets fucked up. Yeah. So did he get hurt? I think, well, he had his seatbelt on, so he was fine. He was oh, buckled okay. in, so he was okay. But I would not have had my seatbelt on. That would have been, that would have been so cool. You would have been fine. Yeah, it would have been fine. It would have been I so probably wouldn't cool. have fit out the door, right, Hank? <laughs> yeah, you, you would have you been stuck in your seat. <laughs> uh, and then the next nominee for worst person to fly with is Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Don't want to. Don't want to be caught flying with that guy. I anywhere. feel like I feel like we're finding out new people who flew with him every day. We certainly are. Yeah, the Island Boys. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone's flown with that guy. Yes. We took off the last nominee. I noticed. In this category. Uh, Muhammad Atta. Oh, yeah. also nominated yes, for Worst Person to Fly With. with yeah. uh, and the winner of Worst Person to Fly With award goes to, drumroll, Anthony Bass's wife. Yeah. Congrats, Mrs. Bass. What an all time, <laughs> what an all time backfire of a tweet. That was that was bad. And then I think they got the flight attendant fired. Yeah. For making her clean it up. Just a ridiculous, ridiculous thing. Like, hey, here, Internet, uh, my wife, who's, again, not that pregnant and a five year old couldn't clean up popcorn. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an injustice. It was all a, also probably the ratio of the year on that tweet. Yeah, that was a huge ratio. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was going to get nominated uh, the other day. I fell asleep on the plane and I was I think I was leaning over and i think a couple of times i woke up because i was like kind of leaning on the guy next to me and when we landed i was like hey man sorry if i was leaning he just didn't acknowledge me <laughs> yeah you got a boner yeah you were probably yawning in his face like a psycho i know but yeah it was tough i tried to i tried to you know make good when we landed and he just truly didn't know it's like yeah okay <laughs> you remember when, <laughs> hank you remember when you threw up gogurt all over yourself on a plane yeah, yeah, that, that was, was bad. Uh, uh, that was really bad. Wait, how yeah. old were you when you did that? Uh, like last year? No, fucking way. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had some some 
incidents on planes. <laughs> yeah. Me and I my remember- dad were driving to vacations for a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We were, we were taking off. And then Hank starts, I can't tell ever with him if it's a yawn or if he's actually choking on something or dying or coughing. And it looked like he was yawn <laughs> coughing. And then Gogurt spews out of his mouth like like a reverse Tiana Trump. Just and, and then he like sticks his hand out to try to catch it. And it just flies all over the place. And I, I'm looking at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, Jesus Christ. He's man. a nervous flyer. Jesus I'm There's Christ. people, I, I was thinking about this after because I do feel bad. I do, I understand that I'm probably a bad person to fly with. And I just... I kind of black out when I fall asleep, but there's definitely, yeah, yeah. there's most people do. Hank. There's like a support group out there that probably exists that they don't know about that. There's probably at least a handful of people that have gotten off a flight with me and been like, I was on the fucking, I was sitting next to the worst person in the world. <laughs> Dude, I fall asleep and I'm a twitcher. Oh, I sleep talk. Drool, lean, boners, boners. Yeah. <laughs> all of it, all of it. I twitch. No okay. orifice is safe. Uh, all right, congratulations uh, to. It just leaks. <laughs> as his wife. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we have game of the year. Mm. Game of the year. We had a lot of great games this year. A lot of great nominees. So uh, I'll rip through them. We had two Vikings games. Vikings uh, Bills, which was an incredible, incredible game. Uh, remember that fourth down catch or uh, pass to Justin Jefferson, mm-hmm. and then obviously the fumble at the goal line. And I think the Bills at one point had twelve guys on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we get caught. We had Vikings Colts, the incredible, incredible comeback. Uh, they ended up winning that game 39-36. Were they down thirty three or something? Yeah, was that on Christmas? It was three to nothing. No, it was, it was a random Saturday game. It December. was like the week before Christmas because mm-hmm. I remember being like, "Holy shit!" It was I was doing December some shopping. 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mariners Astros 18 inning game. What a game that was. That was an awesome game. Uh we had uh Nuggets Lakers game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. We had Commanders 12 Bears 7. That was a, who could forget? Who could forget Tattoo Bet this Thursday show. night game. Yeah. yeah. Uh we had Broncos 12 Colts 9, the uh famous uh overtime game that was one of the worst games of the year, but became one of the best games of mm-hmm. the year. One of the most memorables. And then finally, we had Georgia 42, Ohio State 41. A truly incredible game that we got to witness on uh, New Year's Eve. Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Game of the year. It goes to Nuggets, Lakers, Western Conference Final, Game 1. And we have a quote. We have a quote from someone, uh, a reporter on the scene, uh, who said, people will dismiss it because it's not an NBA Finals game, so the stakes weren't as high. But what you just watched was one of the greatest games ever played. I'll never forget it. Because that that (laughs) series went on to being just an amazing series, right? It was like seven games probably. Back and forth. Back and forth. Road teams getting wins left and right. Yes. It was excellent. Let me read it again just so everyone can let it set in. This is from uh, a reporter. Let's call him D. Ravel. Uh, People will dismiss it because it's not an NBA Finals game, so the stakes weren't as high, but what you just watched was one of the greatest games ever played. Mm. Ever played. Ever played. And I can't can't stop thinking about Western Conference Final Game 1, Lakers-Nuggets, then in a Nuggets sweep. Of any sport. Any sport. All time. Ever played. Ever, Miracle on Ice? Mm-mm. Joe Carter walk-off? Don't remember it. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, the Rumble in the Jungle? Mm. No, no, no. Lakers, Nuggets, Game 1, Western Conference Finals was one of the greatest games ever played. If you're real hoop boy, you know that. 132-126, <laughs> high scoring. Oh, yeah, man, wow. was yeah. it incredible. So there's, yeah, a buzzer beater and everything. Mm-hmm. What a great game. <laughs> Who could forget? Uh, next category is we have trade of the year. Trade of the year. The trade of the year. A lot of big trades in sports. A lot of big trades everywhere. A lot of people got fleeced this year. It was the year of the fleece. The first nominee is Russell Westbrook for Ooh. getting traded from the Lakers. He got traded to Utah, and the Lakers then got D'Angelo Russell. It was a three-team, eight-player deal, and the Lakers just turned their season around because they just got rid of Russell Westbrook. So shout out to the Lakers and Rob Lowe for executing that trade. Yes. 
uh, trading wildfires to Canada for continued Stanley Cup success mm. on our part. So I think, I think that's a fair trade. They're never going to win a Stanley Cup unless we get Alberta as our 51st state, which they're talking about. We want it. Uh, next nominee for trade of the year was Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers finally got off his ass, got traded to the Jets, and brought along basically every teammate that he had that he liked. Which actually, now that I think about it, it's probably only like two or three. Yeah. Uh, that got traded to the Jets or signed by the Jets with him. And then the final nominee is Brittany Griner getting traded for the Merchant of Death. Ooh, that and sounds like a badass dude. Famous prisoner swap. Yeah. Famous prisoner swap. Wait, are you talking about the Merchant of Death? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's get to the presenter for this award. Ooh. We have a very special presenter. Hi. I am Marsley Posky, a voice actor in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> I'm here to announce the Take You for the Trade of the Year. Congrats to our winner, the Merchant of Death ah. and Brittany Grinner. <laughs> the United States absolutely fleeced putting in this deal. <laughs> Great job, USA. Merchant of Death is washed up. <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't have the clutch gene. What has Russia ever won? Oh, it was. We got we got fucking hosed. Yeah, we got hosed. Uh, I'm I'm gonna wait till their careers are done. We can see who's got more ranks. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. That was the trade of the year. It was incredible. We talked about trade of the year. We can say Billy. No comment. Here comes the take. Come on, Billy. Let it fly. It's the takeies. Come on. Merchant of Death got Bakhmut. What is that? You'll Expound. figure it out. Okay. I probably won't. Are you speaking in code right now? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay, next up, we have uh, the Darkness Retreat of the Year. Darkness Retreat of the Year. There were some great Darkness Retreats this year. First nominee is Chrissy Teigen quitting Twitter yet again. Mm -hmm. I think that's the 15th time she's quit it. Yeah, she's a multiple award nominee for this category. Yeah. Uh, every time she- Baby Diggs? <laughs> did, did he quit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see where you're going with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. Baby Diggs hot in the streets. <laughs> okay, next up, uh, Damar Hamlin had a quick darkness retreat, came back, incredible story, story of the year. Yeah, that was a, a, the ultimate, him and Jesus. Yes. Best darkness retreats maybe ever. Yes. Uh, then we have Aaron Rodgers, who had the most famous darkness retreat for, what, a day and a half? Mm -hmm. uh, found himself, well, also, decided he wanted to be a New York Jet. Also, in his darkness retreat, there would be people that would show up, open the door, hand him meals, talk to him. Tell him riddles. The real darkness retreat, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then finally, Chrissy Teigen quitting Twitter yet again. Again, again. Yeah. Again, again. This is final. The last time, guys. She doesn't need this anymore. She swears. She's done. She's got nine burners. Yes. Uh, okay. The winner. We got a special guest presenter. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yes, that's right. Hi, I'm Frank the Tank. I'm here to announce the Takey for Darkness Retreat of the Year. And the winner is Aaron Rodgers. Way to go, Aaron. Congratulations. Looking forward to having you back on the Packers this year. Let's go. Okay, congratulations, Aaron Rodgers. He's making Zach Wilson's life heaven right now. Yeah. He's, that sounds like he's killing him. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, Aaron Rodgers, darkness retreat of the year. Good job. I don't know if that will be a category next year. Probably not. Uh, uh, maybe he will and then decide he wants to go to the Vikings. Well, yeah, he's definitely. And then he's going to go on another one. And then he's going to move to Mississippi and still welfare money. Yes. Yeah. Uh, our next category is Taylor of the year. Ooh. A lot of big Taylors out there. First nominee is Taylor, Taylor Luan. Taylor had a, a great year in being Taylor this year. Mm -hmm. uh, he got injured, as he, did. as he does. He um, was portrayed by Amazon on a Thursday night game as being uh, in a wheelchair. They did the boy dirty, I'll say it. It was a tough look. Tough look for the boys out there, for the tier ones. Next nominee is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is nominated mm. for making like a billion dollars on her tour and then uh, getting forced into breaking up with her boyfriend by the Swift Union. Yes. Um, so, Taylor, shout out to Taylor. Uh, I respect you as an artist, Taylor, but you've done a great job in, in tricking people into thinking you're the most persecuted person on earth who is also making a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, next nominee is Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke nominated for Taylor of the Year. Just the Jordans, everything. Just outstanding work in the field of Taylor Heineke-ness. Uh, the next nominee is the Sean Taylor statue. Ooh. 
at FedEx Field, which underwent, I think, three or four iterations. He was wearing different style pants and gloves and socks and helmets. There was actually no statue there. It, it was uh, the first statue to never have a face, a body, legs, arms, fingers, hands, anything. It was just a uniform. It was like a merch, a stand-up merch shop for Taylor, for Sean Taylor. Yes. And the winner of Taylor of the Year goes to, drum roll. All right. The Sean Taylor statue. Oh! All right. Great job. Great job to the Washington Commanders for screwing up Sean Taylor Day for the second consecutive year. Unbelievable. That video still shocking. It's, even though, it's even if you know what's coming and yeah. you watch it again, you're like, what the fuck were they thinking? It's shocking even for the commanders. Yes. Yes. Which is saying something. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. We got a few more rounding up. We're going to get to Blake of the Year in a little bit here. Uh, we have no hitter of the year. No hitter of the year. Uh, a lot of no hitters this year. We have some great nominees. First up, Kanye West. No hits this year. None. Zero hits. No bangers. Zero hits. Uh, his appearance on the Alex Jones show was pretty fire, though. That's true. That was also a, the Chris hit. Paul tweet. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that was also a, that a was banger. Okay, fuck that. He might. Well, we'll see if he wins. But yeah, that was a hit. Uh, we have Reed Detmers, Anaheim Angels, on June tenth, twenty twenty two. No hitter. Mm, yep, that was a great no hitter. Who could forget? One of the best games I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, we have the Houston Astros no hitting the Philadelphia Phillies in the World Series. Mm -hmm. Pretty crazy game for the World Series. Was that a no hitter? It was a no hitter. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. So, yeah, crazy. Reed Detmer's just pitching this game that's on in the studio right that's now for the wild. Angels. That's wild. Throw it in for next year's Wild of the Whoa. Year. Uh, okay. Drum roll. And the winner is Max, would you like to announce it? Uh, Kanye. No, it was not Kanye. It was the Houston Astros no hitter of the Philadelphia Phillies in Game Four of the World Series. In the World Series, in the I mean World that's that's series. incredible. That happens so rarely. Yes, in the biggest stage in all of sports. Max, would you like to accept this award? Um, no, I would not, because it's not a true award. It's a fake award. Why? And it's a fake no hitter. Why is it it's not a real no hitter? Because it's combined no hitter. Yeah, I do not respect. Wait, I do not respect it. Wait, respect wait this Max, it was a combined I what? Not, I didn't. What did you say? It was. It, it was a combined what? It was a combined zero hitter. No, that's not what you just <laughs> yeah, said. No, you slipped up. <laughs> I'll edit this. Yeah, unfortunately, he does have the control to edit everything. <laughs> but yeah, one of the most memorable no hitters in this show's history. Wrong. Uh, no one cares so. about that no hitter. Uh, th this room uh, is wait. the only people is the only room. Uh, raise your hand if this you care about that no hitter in America. Raise your hand if you care about that no hitter. Raise your hand if you care about that no hitter. Factor fiction people mention to you at bars. All right, five. Yeah, yeah, well, five fact. because of this show. Five, five people in this room. Five to one. It's a combined. It's a combined. Yes, it's a no hitter yes. against you. No hitter. Congratulations to Max and the Philadelphia Phillies for getting no hit in the World Series. I think it's no hitter. You always have after that after game one. That's true. Yeah, it's better than a World said. Series. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we want up two one. I mean, whatever. Oh, oh, are we talking about the Sixers now? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next <laughs> next category is tie of the year. Ooh, the tie of ooh. the year. First up, we have Jim Nance's tie. Mm. Gave it away for the last time, and all the people that say that he stopped giving away the tie. That's not true. He just stopped making a big deal out of giving away the tie. Correct. You can't just quit giving away a tie two years before you walk away from it all. Mm -hmm. uh, next nominee is Commander's Giants tie in the NFL this year. And we also have the Colts and Texans nominated for tie of the year. That tie actually went on to be yeah. uh, very impactful. Huge. Huge tie. Massive tie. Huge. And then we have USA England tying in the World Cup, Huge. which we won. Yes. And the winner of tie of the year goes to the United States of America. Yes. yes. Let's go. USA. 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 We tied USA. the fuck out of England. Hey, you don't like USA? Soccer. Who cares? <laughs> You don't appreciate the beautiful game like we do, Hank. No, uh, you were at, you were there. I was there. I went, I went halfway across the world to bring home a tie, and I fucking did it. Yeah, 
That's how you spin zone. That's how you spin zone. You also, we're literally just asking about Burnley like 20 minutes ago. That's true. Yeah. Well, that's out of that's a commitment to my new friend JJ. Yeah. Best friend JJ. (laughs) But we're but but I'll tell you one thing. Burnley's gonna test that friendship. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. You gonna bet on them? I'm gonna bet on them, but I, I again, it's happened during COVID. No sports on. There was soccer. Bet on it. Still thought it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm, I've I've committed. I've committed to being a Burnley fan. Granted that he sent some merch. Uh, that's the one condition. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give him my best bet. Yeah, my best my best ever. Your best okay. bet. Okay. Uh, all right. Next up, uh, let's take a quick break for an ad. Thank you to our friends from the PR7s, Premier Rugby 7s, for being a wonderful sponsor of the Takeys. Premier Rugby 7s is the top professional rugby 7s league in the U.S. 7s is an electric, fast style of play compared to rugby 15s, allowing more scoring opportunities in a much shorter period of time. 7s is the format of rugby played in the Olympics. The games only last 14 minutes, consisting of two seven-minute halves and two-minute halftime League consists of eight franchises, four in the Eastern Conference, four in the Western Conference. Every franchise has a men's and women's team, meaning the league has 16 total teams, and it's awesome. Max, you were there. Live bands, DJ, costume cont- contests. How awesome does it go to a Premier Rugby Sevens uh, event besides the fact you got stiff-armed into the uh, Earth's crust by Hank Lockwood? Uh, we don't need to talk about that. That had nothing to do with the actual event. That was pre-event, but... It was awesome. Like when we were in Austin, rugby sevens is a really cool sport to begin with. They do a really good job. There's a lot of fun like activities around the the, uh, the gameplay, and uh, it's a great time. Yeah, so go check it out. Premier Rugby Sevens Conference Championship weekends at PayPal Park in San Jose, California, this Saturday, July fifteenth, and at Highmark Stadium in Pittsburgh, PA, on July twenty third. Visit pr7s.com to purchase tickets for both events. If you can't make it live. Tune in to CBS Sports Network to watch it as their local social channels, uh, PR7s, at PR7s. For Premier Rugby 7s merch, visit the online shop at shop.pr7s.com. Premier Rugby 7s is electric. If you haven't been out to an event, go do it this weekend, July 15th, in San Jose at PayPal Park, and then next weekend at Highmark Stadium in Pittsburgh, PA. It is going to be awesome. It's a great event, a great summer event, drinking uh, bands, costumes, and then you get to watch guys and girls play Premier Rugby Sevens, the most electric sport on grass. Okay, we got a few more, and then we're going to get to, uh, we got like five more, and then we're going to get to the Blake of the Year and then see who gets Podcast Listener of the Year. Next up, a very big award. It's Loser of the Year. Mm. Okay, so this is a new oh. award, and I thought with a new award... Let's uh, keep it in-house. So we have the nominees. Jake Marsh for losing the Panthers and the Heat in the finals. Also losing the illusion that uh, he actually hit a hole-in-one when everyone nope, figured out he did I didn't. got a hole-in-one that washes away all the loser. Things. And uh, losing his pants during every PLL broadcast. Yes, yes. Um, uh, I am nominated because I lost my Eagles future. I was 0 for 2 in game of the years, and also two of my favorite teams were the worst teams and got the number one pick. Mm-hmm. That's so, a pretty big year in losing. Big time big losing. Big year in losing out of mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Huge. Uh, yeah. There, if you're going to lose this year. one, Big Cat, the winner better be a massive loser. Yes, yes. Uh, we have next up PFT, the doink bet. That was a big, big loser. <laughs> the doink big bet. Big loser. Especially that Hank celebrated his win right in my face. Yeah. Because he took the other side because he hates me. Yeah. And he just likes just going. He just likes going against me. It's no, sad. I tried to talk. We talked about it. Whatever. I gave you that bet. I gave. I, I told you I was. You didn't know that the no doinks bet was even a possibility until I told you I was taking doinks. And then you're like, oh, PFT, I'm going to fade you right in your face. <laughs> I was just like, whatever. The sod father I'm did that to lost. me. I'm happy the hold, you lost. Yes. The hold was fucked up yes, because of the was. sod father. It was. That, was a that great motherfucker. Uh, speaking of Hank, he is up for loser of the year. Uh, the Celtics lost in uh, to the, the Heat, an eight seed. The Bruins lost as the one seed. The Patriots had a very bad year. And if you sum it all up, he hasn't won a title since 2019. Damn, Hank. Big time loser energy. That's out a of Hank. long, long time ago. Big time loser energy. Won the lottery ball, though. Okay. Uh, we'll cut that. Uh, next up, we got Billy. 
Billy lost to hot sauce. Yeah. He lost to his anger. He lost, uh, well, he actually won softest hands in the studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe Biden's still president. Joe Biden's still president. And Billy also had his famous quote when the Jets were five and two saying, I feel bad for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, And then where did the Jets end up? Not in the playoffs with the rest of us. Uh, was Jack Nicklaus in the last year? Yeah, I don't know. That was pretty, yeah, that's a loser that's, moment that's, of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, we have Max. Self-explanatory. Just zoom in on Max's face. Go ahead. Tighter. Turn your camera on. Tighter. Turn your camera I, on. I, I, the camera is on. The camera okay. is zoom on. in. The ca- I, I can't zoom in. Move your face closer to the camera slowly. I'm not moving my face closer to the camera. <laughs> okay. And so we have a special presenter for this. And I want to say this. Uh, when I reached out to this person to present the award, I did not know what teams this person rooted for. And then when I saw the video, I gasped. Go ahead, Max. Oh, man. This is great. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jim DiBattista, winner of the 2020 Biggest Loser. As a guy who's lost a lot, I know a loser when I see one. (laughs) So without further ado, I'm happy to announce the winner of the 2023 Takey for Biggest Loser of the Year. And the winner is Envelope. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Max Delente. Congrats, Max. Great job. You're such an incredible loser. You've now won a loser, which makes you an even bigger loser. Congrats, Max. I I picked, I just searched biggest loser. So that guy, I think, lost like 200 pounds Mm -hmm. a few years ago. And then when I. When he sent his his video back and he's a Phillies fan. That's incredible. <laughs> Just serendipitous. So, Max, to sum up. You also lost, let's not forget the bowling. Yeah, you yeah. lost, you lost on a Hail Mary, yeah. which got Big Cat the number one pick, which then you Davis had Davis Mills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, was actually second place. You yeah. lost in, in Fortnite, too. You got second place in Fortnite the first time that you played I in mean, years. I mean, who cares yeah. about that? So, you lost uh, the Philadelphia Phillies in the World Series after said... And getting no hit. Calling them City of Champions. City of Champions. Mm-hmm. Title Town, he said. We're basically Title Town. Was People were saying quote. that about the Heat and South and Miami, I don't too. think one person said that. Well, not in this room, but out there. <laughs> <laughs> basically Title Town. You lost to Philadelphia Union. You're a huge MLS guy. You've had season tickets since the inception of the team, right? Yep. With yeah. a lead oh, yeah. in the 96th minute. Wait, 96? that's true? How many, they minutes, had a lead. How many minutes oh, yeah. were there in a soccer game? At least... 95. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're 90 minutes. Yeah. At least. That's impossible. You lost the Eagles Super Bowl Oof. with a 10 point lead at half. It was a big lead. And you lost $6,000. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. You did lose $6,000. Oh, yeah. And then oh, I actually he, was... he also lost his iPhone the night yeah. before the game. He lost his iPhone. <laughs> did, Some of that. I did lose that iPhone. I did, I did put, uh, he, he paid me back the $6,000 and I said I'd put it on a future for him. Uh, he did that with the UCLA Bruins, and they. I also did that with Max Homa. Yeah, he did it with Max Homa. He did it with the Masters. He did it with the UCLA Bruins. Uh, he also bet against UConn in every tournament game. Mm-hmm. What so PFT? True. Who? How did they do in the tournament? I think they smoked everyone. Oh yeah, that's right. They covered every spread and won it all. Uh, and then you lost to the Celtics, which probably hurt the most out of all of these losses, and you had to shave your face. What, the no-hitter hurt? Or, or, yeah, I was going to say, let's actually look. I, I'm not yeah, curious right. which loss hurt the most. It's yeah. the Super Bowl will always hurt the most. Okay, mm-hmm. then what was two? Mean, can we just put in the video of, of, of you at the Super Bowl being like, Jalen Hurd, I'll suck his dick right now. Just put in the whole clip because it's maybe the funniest clip where he's like, I have a fucking headache. <laughs> I was so hungover. I was, and the sun, the sun was ridiculous. The sun was insane. I have a fucking headache. That's my guy. That's my fucking guy. I'll suck his dick right now. Oh, and Hank's stupid fucking face walking back into that room. Walking back into that room. I'll never forget that feeling and just looking. Just looking at Hank. You also yeah, got he, kissed. Yeah, you got kissed. Uh-huh. Yep. You got kissed yeah. on a video you didn't have to put out. Good good, good video. And got good, exposed. Factor fiction, good video. You exposed. lost that game. Great video. You lost that game, too, because you were you were rooting so hard for the heat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that ended up fine. You yeah, had some the, positives, though. 
you like fucking dogs. <laughs> you did say that. You don't I said, hate fucking dogs. I, I said no. I don't hate, comma fucking dogs. <laughs> that, 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 that comma <laughs> Okay, so rank the losses. Uh, Eagles, like for sure, by far and away, number one. Uh, the soul patch. It, honestly, the soul patch hurt more than the Sixers losing because that those pictures will last forever. Uh, they get put on graphics months. What pictures months later? Dave pictures? Portnoy put out a yep. picture. Of you out I of mean, nowhere. that was the biggest ricochet out of nowhere <laughs> shot of all time. What pictures are you talking about? Oh, the pictures of the f- professional <laughs> photography that you decided to do the day after. <laughs> by by happenstance, we had a professional merch shoot the day after I had to look like the ugliest man in America. <laughs> okay, keep going. Uh, that one hurt. The hot dogs. Real, I didn't think it was gonna hurt as bad as it did, but doing the hot dog bet was really tough. I I really didn't enjoy that, and that one was almost worse because I didn't actually lose. I came in second, mm. which was, what would you call that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that goes along with the rest of the theme here. Um, you're such a loser. You're such a loser. You are a loser. <laughs> yeah, no. Come join I'm, us. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, you, I'm happy I came onto this show at the time of like yeah. the year of my biggest downfall <laughs> yeah. of all time. <laughs> we timed it perfectly. It really is remarkable when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Like everything got so close for you. If you just won one of those, you wouldn't be a loser. But I, I will win one and, it, and it'll will be you? that much sweeter. Uh, will you? <laughs> I will win you one. Will? Sport. What? Yeah. Union? Uh, the union? Um, no. Who knows? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Who knows? <laughs> And it, it'll be so much sweeter than if I were to just come on and just start winning right away because I, I'm going to be building myself up to that. It's going to be a real redemption hero story for the ages. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. People are going to be writing novels about me. I want to read those books. <laughs> yeah. I cannot wait to read those. How I Stopped Losing. Starts. <laughs> the Max the Intro. Story. Max puking in the Uber. <laughs> that was One tough. thing about me, I could beat up <laughs> I could beat the fuck out of Hank. Uh, well, one thing about you, Max, you are a loser. So you're loser of the year. Yeah. Uh, which one, which just as a side, uh, and this is like post-production stuff, but which graphic should we use of Max in the loser <laughs> of the year? Should we do the Eagles one? I mean, Eagles Super Bowl or Soul Patch? Yeah, in the chair. Oh. The chair is iconic. Maybe have the Soul Patch. Maybe have a Soul Patch uh, I think as we like can... a stamp on loser of the year. Maybe the Soul Patch would be the O on loser yeah, of the year. Yeah, I like that. I, there shouldn't be that many <laughs> pictures of me already. I've been, I haven't been on the show well, for lost a, a lot. year. Not even a full year. I like people work their careers for those pictures. <laughs> yeah, you got you compiled them fast. Roan fingered your butthole. Oh yeah, he did finger your. <laughs> that butthole. was a good moment. And in the the circle of the R, it should be him getting kissed. That yeah. picture too. Yeah, man, what a great year for us. Yeah, yeah. God, getting damn to it. laugh at Max. Yeah, it's been so much fun. Oh. All right, <laughs> next category. This is a, a vaunted category here in the Takey Awards. We've done it every single year. It's the lib of the year. The lib of the year nominees are. <laughs> oh my god! Billy's getting smashed. Billy, oh, look at the ground. I know it's it's not your cooler I thought, didn't I thought work. The cooler didn't work. <laughs> yeah, why don't you take that out, Billy? Before you take it out, let me just sauce me one of those cold cruisers. Uh, I think we're out. Uh, Billy's got the last one. <laughs> I'll take that one. Here we got more in here, Billy. Thanks, Throw them Billy. in here. Beta. All right, the nominees for Lib of the Year are Billy, actually. Billy, congratulations, Billy, for being nominated again for Lib of the Year for wearing a mask last week. Yeah. And, <laughs> and also not eating red meat anymore. So thank you, Billy, for all that you've done for the environment and stopping the spread. Big Lib moves. Of conservatives. Big, Billy. Uh, next nominee is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers nominated for Lib of the Year for moving to Brooklyn. Yes. Self explanatory. <laughs> yes. Uh, next nominee is Jake. Jake Marsh is nominated for Lib of the Year for tweeting out Barackatology with Obama and getting political. Mm, you got so was, political with it, Jake. It's a great segment. It's disgusting. It's disgusting what you've done to this show. He did even it out, though, by uh, making a shirt GOPs. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So, Go yeah, he's playing yeah. both sides. Republicans root for the Panthers, too. <laughs> yeah. Next nominee is Dan Snyder for letting his wife run the team for a while. Big, big beta girl boss move energy mm-hmm. from him. Next nominee is J.J. Watt for Lib of the Year for literally having a bleeding heart. Yes, that's true. He did. <laughs> yep, he did. And then the final nominee is Donald Trump for calling to defund the police Ooh. after he got arrested. Oh, so uh, really some great nominees for Lib of the Year this year. And the winner of Lib of the Year goes to none other. Drum roll, please. Then the PC principal himself, Billy Football. Yeah. Uh, yep. Billy. Life, life imitates art. Is this three years running? I think Chris Long's won a bunch. Chris yeah, Long was you a and, dynasty. You and Chris like Long. Clay yeah, Travis won, that, too. Yeah, Clay, Clay got, won. He got yeah. one. Well, the, the forest fires did require a little bit of a mask, and I do still eat red meat. Uh, it just makes you break out in hives, but it's worth it. Okay. I haven't Sounds... seen you eating red meat that much recently. I had honest. a burger, smash burger, for lunch uh, with a haagen shake. It was awesome. The impossible one? Yeah. No. no you can't I don't think they have that. impossible. You can't Billy loves that. ice cream. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll give you tits. That that lib ice cream, like Jenny's. Mm-hmm. No, dude. I just ben and Jerry's. Most, what's the most amount of ice cream you've had in one Wait, sitting? Jenny's is a lib. A uh, bit. Yeah, Jenny's is also Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, yeah. Ben, we, I had it for the first time when I was in Chicago. What? Jenny's. Yeah, it's Chicago. Delicious. Thing, yeah. Right? yeah, it was good. It is good. Yeah, ice cream's great. There's I'm actually, the biggest ice cream guy there is. I should become Billy. like a, a hot take. Ice cream's good. I should <laughs> become like a my pillow ice cream guy. This just is a hell of a tangent we're going on. Yeah. Here. Yeah, but think yeah. about it. Like, there's so much, there's so there's much a play, play it off cream. music. Can we get the play it off music? What if there was like Republican ice cream? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, I think just Nancy Pelosi sell. has like an entire refrigerator that's just filled with Jenny's ice cream, just like you, Billy. Mm-hmm. Just like you. Yeah. Uh, and the winner was Billy Football. Again, so Billy, you are, <laughs> you are again, Lib of the Year. Yeah, Lib of the Year. Sweet. Good job, Billy. Okay. Uh, rounding his shape here, we got a couple left. Uh, we're going to go with worst take of the year. Worst take of the year. Great year for bad, bad takes. Uh, so let's pull up all the bad takes. You guys have any that you have yourself? I had heat culture uh, dying. So that one was bad. Mm-hmm. I have one for myself. Uh, for the second straight year, I picked the NCAA champion getting eliminated in day one. Oh, mm-hmm. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona this year and last year. Who did I have last year? Who did you have last year? You did lose it, though. Yeah, it was a 2 You're Really bad at that. Yeah. You're college basketball. Very guy. bad. Anyone else have bad takes? I didn't have any bad takes this year. You had only clean takes? Only perfect takes. I yes. said Peter Uline uh, didn't matter. He was the worst ace. He was. Kentucky against St. Peter's. But he was, in fact, the best ace. Yes. Uh, okay, I have it. All right, so the nominees. We have some really good ones. Uh, this one, first up, is Chris Broussard uh, saying... It's on the table that the Chiefs miss the playoffs next year. Mm. Yep. Did they miss the playoffs? I don't think they did. I think they beat Max in the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. They won the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl. Uh, we also have Justin Barney, who October 30th, 2022, said with the first pick in the 2023 NFL draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select dot, dot, dot. The Jags went to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They basically won every game since that tweet. Bad take. Bad yes. take. Yes. We've all had we've all been there. Yes. Uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, I, I should say I did pick uh the Chargers to win the Super Bowl. Yes, that's year. true. That's, that's a bad true. take. By the way, uh all these C words, I'm sorry. All these worst takes. Uh our good friend Fred Siegel helped us out with these. You should go buy his book, Freezing Cold Takes, NFL Football Media's most inaccurate predictions and the fascinating stories behind them. He's fantastic. If you don't follow him on Twitter, you should. Uh, holds us accountable. Mm-hmm. Holds us accountable. Although we, I think we're probably his most difficult accounts to deal with because of the amount of jinxing, trolling. Uh, didn't really mean that. Yep. So he gets tagged a lot, but he does great work. So check out Fred Siegel. Check out his book. You can buy it on Amazon. All right. Next up, we have uh, Geg- Greg Gabriel, who uh, covers the Bears. He's a former scout for the Bears. Uh, tweeted, the experts said the Bears would only win three games all year. They've won two of their first three. Mm-hmm. Do these seem do these same experts feel the Bears will go one in fourteen the rest of the way? <laughs> these so called experts. 
The Bears went one and fourteen the rest of the way. Actually, remarkable. <laughs> when incredible. you look at the Bears' season, starting out that hot, well, that hot, but like getting two wins early, and then having an offense that scored as many points as they did, and still managing to lose. Almost every game. It's pretty incredible. It is pretty incredible. That is an all-time, all-time uh, bad team. Do they think that they're going to go 1-14? Yes. That is exactly what they did down the stretch. Uh, next up, we have Colin Coward, who said, the Denver Broncos have won the NFL offseason. They should be a Super Bowl favorite for the next several years. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine thinking that the Broncos were going to be good in training camp this year? Mm. Couldn't be me. Not me. Colin's Not me. a fucking idiot and a fake soup guy. Yeah. Uh, we have Stephen A. Smith who said, I've got the Brooklyn Nets going to the finals. Kyrie's going to be a leading candidate for MVP. and Ben Simmons will return to all-star status. That's a, that's a hat trick right there. That is quite something. Next up, we have Dan Shaughnessy who said, expecting the Cowboys and their fans to be humiliated by Brady tonight. This was before the wild card game. Uh, they will, they will uh, play scared, lose their minds, and Brady will carve them up. Saw this movie a million times here in New England. Mm -hmm. Anybody else in this room think that the Buccaneers were going to do well in the playoffs? Uh, I did. Oh, what about what about Henry? I did in that game, that specific game. No, I didn't. No, no, he didn't actually. I oh, didn't. Did? Oh, I yeah, remember he took the Cowboys. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and yeah. then he took the Cowboys. No, I didn't. Friends. No, I didn't. He went against Tom Brady. I didn't go against Tom Brady. Yeah, he did. I bet a future on the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. And mm -hmm. who were they playing in that first round? Okay, but like that doesn't. That's not how futures work. Okay. E man. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're getting spicy <laughs> here. E man. It's we're getting spicy. All right. Next up, we have uh, Jim Irsay. After uh, Jeff Saturday was hired and won his first game. He said, all you critics, you criticize all of us in the NFL for losing. When we make moves to win, you act you act so righteous. Who you crapping? Just win, baby. Who you crapping? That's, that's a famous a, that's Mike a, Dick uh, quote. It's such a good good yes. quote to use on people. Yes, who, who you crapping? crapping? They, they lost all their games after that. Uh, and then finally, we have, uh, this is from. To be fair, Jeff Saturday had a player on his defense who was betting on football games. That's true. Including Colts games. That's true. Finally, we have, uh, this is from Kaplan NFL. He said, it's not even close. Wentz is so much more talented than Hurts. I mean, the guy can play. Commanders fans are going to see this season. They're going to do some game. They're going to be some games where you're going to go. Why did Philly trade him? Mm-hmm. That's quite a take. That's pr that's so wrong. Yes. That's the wrongest take. Wrongest. All right. Uh, drum roll. Worst takes. Winner goes to Stephen A. Smith. For his Brooklyn Nets take. What a take that was. It really hit everything. Just to reiterate, I've got the Brooklyn Nets going to the finals. Kyrie gonna, is going to be a leading candidate for MVP. And Ben Simmons will return to all-star status. Yeah, the, the beauty of that take is it's over three in a single take. Yes. It's incredible. And the Nets, like, could not have imploded worse. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do we got next? Next up, we have Football Guy of the Year. Yes. The Football Guy of the Year nominations. Uh, we have, first off, Peyton Hillis mm. for saving his niece and his son in a riptide, pulled them out of the water, almost died, went in the hospital, had kidney failure, had, uh, I think, fluid in his lungs as well, and pulled through, saw it to the other side, saved two lives. So, dad of the year nominee and uncle of the uncle year. Uncle of the year. Nominee. Um, as well as Football Guy of the Year. Next nominee is Damar Hamlin. Prayers for Damar. Yes, prayers for Damar. Prayers for Damar, Football Guy of the Year. Uh, and then we have Mike Leach, tragically passed away, head coach of Mississippi State. You know him from the Washington State Cougars, from Texas Tech, from just basically being football. Football. His DNA was football for his entire life. And a very interesting guy as well. Passed yes. away. And the, nom the winner is, for Football Guy of the Year... It's going to Mike Leach. Yeah, Mike Leach gets Football Guy of the Year. Much deserving. Yeah. Much deserving. He, he was a guest on this program before, and uh, he's a fascinating guy to talk to. I understand why the media loves him so much because he will just he'll talk to you about anything. Sometimes he cares so much about football that he doesn't want to talk about football in the like small breaks in his life that he has from football. So we talk about literally anything else. Yes. Um, but just a, a fascinating dude. Great 
great head coach. Changed the game of football as we know it, actually, with the air raid offense. Yes, yes, facts. Also in December, we officially named this award after him. Ooh, we okay. It out. There so, you go. So Mike Leach wins Five the football guy of the year. Uh, we forgot we did that. Mike Leach wins the football guy of the year <laughs> award. <laughs> I told you guys we did that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we're getting we're getting we, older. We did it. Yeah, we did it. We did it, Joe. Uh, okay. Last up before we get to Blake of the year, or we have two more. Uh, we have takeies that we won't do, but we thought about doing. Mm-hmm. So this is a brand new award. There'll be no nominees. You can guess who might be nominated, but mm-hmm. we will not be doing these awards. We were just going to say the things we would have done, but we're not going to do it. Uh, and the nominees for takeies that we won't be doing, but we thought about doing, uh, are anti-Semite of the year. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. A couple good nominees right off the top of my head. But we're not going to say it. not going to say it. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have slur of the year. Some crossover there. Yes. Slur of the year. Uh, whether they be rap lyrics, whether they be on a hot mic. Mm-hmm. Slur of the year. Just getting drunk, saying stuff. We're not going to do it. Uh, next up, spicy one. Most dominant trans athlete in women college sports. We're not going to do that award. Nope, we're not going to do that award. And last, uh, best questions asked about the COVID, COVID vaccine as it pertains to DeMar Hamlin. Not going to do, gonna that, do one. that one. Not yeah. going to do it. But okay. just... But, just asking questions. You were not yet. Yeah, they were just asking questions. All right. The mm-hmm. winner of Takey that we won't do, but we thought about doing, is Anti Semite of the Year. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> but we're not doing we're it. Not doing it. Not doing we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Okay. All right. Let's Let's uh, let's finish up with our future take of the year before we get to Blake of the Year. Uh, Hank, would you like to start? Your sure. future take of the year. So we do this every year. Throw out a take that you think will happen. We'll see how right or wrong it is. Tiger Woods, father of Charlie, is going to start his own golf league. Oh, oh okay. Has is it going to be oh, indoors? Has he already done that? And is Rory going to be partnering okay, up with him? Let's see what you're doing. No, a professional golf league. Oh, oh professional indoor golf league. No. Professional, professional golf yeah. league okay. outside. That's why he hasn't been commenting. Oh, interesting. I like that. I like that. Okay, Max. Because if he started a golf league, the Saudis would just buy him out. True. Yeah. True. True. Max. Uh, Villanova's going to lose the national championship this year. Oh, another loss they're for not, Max. Going to make the, the tournament. Yeah. So wait, national your, championship. Your nope. future take of the year is to catch another loss. Well, no, that would be good. I was going to say Final Four, wait, and then, yeah, and no, then wait, I, no, took the, I took the joke in front of before you guys. In oh, your wildest okay. dreams, Villanova yeah. finishes no, 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 second no, that was, place. You're, you're a bellhop at the Hell I Hotel. Was going, I was going to say Final Four, and then I knew what your joke was going to be, so I said it first. But you okay, said but it. you still played yourself. <laughs> Big time. Well, I wasn't ready to say National Championship. Well, okay. you should have said National Championship. I, I said what I said. Okay. Okay. You uh, might be right, actually. Yeah, I mean, given your track record, Max, I, th- I feel yeah. like you're right on track for this. Yes, it would be, it would be a good take. All right, yeah. Jake, you listening right now? The AWLs will tune into the PLL tonight. Yes, that's or my your prediction. scumbags. Yes, calling the Water Dogs game tonight. Mm-hmm. Love it. ESPN Plus. Love Pantsless. it. And buy tickets to the beer garden. Oh, will you be there? Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, hell yeah. Doing what? I think it's ring night. I think Billy's accepting the rings on your behalf. Uh, I do not want to tell them those rings. No, 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 no. But he's got such soft hands. Yeah, that's true. Don't get damaged at all. Yes, yes. Okay, Billy, your future take of the year? What are you going to wear? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, because Jake's not going to wear pants. Duke's going to be there. You guys should just bring one suit. Jake wears the top. You wear the pants only. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, no, my future- yeah, I like when you say like Dukes would be there, like it will make us more confident and things going well. <laughs> it will. It will. Oh, I got Dukes, you know. Safety in numbers. Hank also asked you what you're going to wear, and you just said Dukes is going to be there. <laughs> He'll be wearing Dukes. Uh, so my future take of the year. He still won't tell us what he's going to wear. Uh, I haven't planned it out yet. Okay. I don't think about like clothes. I like yeah. the I like the cargo pants blue polo you had the other day. <laughs> That's dude. That I, was a good look. No, I, lo- I, no, I love it when is... Billy puts on a polo shirt outside somewhere and none of the buttons are buttoned up, so he's yeah. got the collars just flopping in the wind everywhere. I've never seen an iron. Well, I'm just saying the cargo pants are important because I have to carry a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I have, on the go. I have to carry the beer tabs to give out to people. I have to carry a phone charge. There's a lot of stuff. Extra Zin for it to hand out. It's it's very complicated. Yeah, to hand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so no, uh, seriously, this is my future take of the year. Okay. 
I really uh, think that you guys are going to take part of my take and Barstool Sports as a whole to the next level in Chicago. I think you guys are really going to do some amazing stuff out there and create some awesome content. And, you know, not only do I know you're going to do some awesome stuff, but I'm wishing you guys the best. Okay. Thank you, Billy. Wow. That was sweet. That was really Thank nice. You, Billy. Yeah. I think Billy really might nice. win. Yeah, shit. We are great. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Billy. Uh, all right. I, I had two. Uh, one, one, one is that the, the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, I just feel it. I don't know why. I think Lamar Jackson have a great year. And my other one is Dan Snyder's going to rebuy the Washington Commanders. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> just take. Just <laughs> take. I, there's no chance that happens. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the funniest thing ever? There's no chance that happens. The deal's ironclad. Uh, it's interesting because my take of the year was going to be that Dan Snyder's definitely going to sell the Washington Commanders this year. <laughs> he hasn't yet officially, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Um, Wait, that actually hasn't happened? No, it hasn't been signed off on Wait, just yet. What? Come on. The owners have You're to get joking, together. Right? You got to get finances in place. And then once all the finances are in place, then the owners vote. I was joking. I thought it had already happened. No, the interest rates when? have to go down. It's happened like seven times. <laughs> How is it not It's happening? happening either July 20th or August 8th. My prediction. Okay. One of those two dates. Throw a dart at a dartboard. Um, so since Big Cat took kind of. I, I'm My sorry. I, I really thought he had sold the team. I'm just going to say that Mohammed bin Salman is going to buy the LPGA and the women aren't going to be allowed to use drivers anymore. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See that happening. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let's do a quick ad and then let's do some Blake of the Year. Okay. It is that time of the year. Probably the most important takey we give out. It is Blake of the Year. We have our three Blakes, Brooks, who was suspended momentarily for 24 hours last year, uh, Blake Bortles and Blake Griffin. We were just talking before we started. Blake Griffin, I think you are Blake of the Year, right? Like this, you still own the crown? Oh uh, Yeah, last year I believe I won. Yeah, yeah so I've got, I've got the titles right here. Uh, in 2018, it was Bortles. 2019, Griffin. 2020, Griffin. 21, Bortles. 22, Griffin. So, Kepka, you've never won Blake of the Year. Looking to get the monkey off your back at this point. Now, 18 through 20, those were the years where we did the phone call. Yes. And there was and, – and Blake Griffin would train. Yes. He would have, like, a guy that had his phone on him at all times, even when he was practicing. So, then we switched up to lottery machine ball and then back to trivia with a coin toss last year. Right. And I think if you're watching on the YouTube, Blake Griffin is playing golf right now. Uh uh, Blake Kep Kepka's in Portugal and Blake Bortles is in Florida. So we're doing the first ever Blake of the Year from four different. We're in Chicago, so it's four different time zones. International Blake of the yeah. Year. Yeah. California, Florida, Chicago, Portugal. Blake Griffin is also frozen in a shot. We have a great angle of him. All right. So let's, until we get him back, we'll start with you, Blake Bortles. How are you feeling this year? I feel good. Um, I mean, I really retired from the NFL in order to train for this, so uh, I don't have much else going on. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Uh, Blake Kepka, what would winning your first ever Blake of the Year mean to you? Honestly, I've party hard tonight already, but this would just be a whole new atmosphere. Yeah, yeah we're gonna party hard. We're gonna celebrate this better, better than the fifth major. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And, and Blake, no blinking, no blinking. Yes, no <laughs> blinking. And Blake, Blake Griffin, uh, as customary, whenever we do Blake of the Year, you have to show whoever you're in a golf cart with. Uh, I just finished up, guys. Oh, uh, you play by yourself? Around. I just finished up. Yeah. So it was a good, good time, though. Yeah. The, by the yeah. way, how how bad is your partner? <laughs> uh, he's actually pretty good. I caught him on a bad hole. I probably shouldn't have sent that picture. <laughs> Who is your partner? Uh, um, none other than the Boston Celtics superstar, Jason Tatum. Oh, wow. Fortunately, he's gone, and you couldn't say anything to him. I, I would have said um, nice things to him. We're actually coming down the stretch, and I got this. I got this left. I got this left to uh, to either tie this hole. Or win this hole and win the match. Okay. All this right. So here we go. Here comes the shot. Brooks, you got any tips right here? <laughs> oh, I can't. Look at you. It's like a 20-yard shot. 
can't see anything. I'm just looking at you. Hold on. Bump, and, bump and run. Give it a flop. Put some Wait, backspin on. Bump, Wait, have, pot it. Have your yeah, put it. We have he, no pussies in the Hall of Fame. Just remember that. That's a good point. Yeah, Blake, you should dunk it. People forget you can still dunk. Oh, I made it. You made it? <laughs> you put it in? <laughs> nah, definitely didn't make it. <laughs> All right, so should have putted. Blake of the year this year is going to be three rounds. So the first round is going to be every Blake giving their speech as to why uh, they deserve Blake of the year. The second round will be Blake trivia, and the third round I'm not going to reveal the third round right now because I don't want anyone to cheat. Uh, the third round is going to test your intelligence as Blake's. Uh, so let's start with round one. Let's start yeah. with yeah. Uh, the guy who's never won before in Blake Kepka. Tell us, the panel, why you think you deserve Blake of the Year. You can talk about your, your past year. You can talk about whatever you want. But why do you think that we should give you Blake of the Year? Why do I think I deserve Blake of the Year? Um, I'll be honest. This, this year was a great year for me. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, to fit in with the Blakes because the last, I don't know, a few years haven't been going my way. I decided to blow the lead at the Masters because Blakes don't win anything, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So I think that that was my way in. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, I won. But yeah, I figured that was, uh, yeah, I mean, blow a lead. You know, Blakes haven't won anything. We've, we've, Try our best, but uh, you know I'm here. I'm and here to win this one. You also have a son on the way that's potentially what? going to be named Blake. Yes, I could name that kid Blake. I full effort. Uh, Jenna is not a huge fan. Um, <laughs> she quite frank, she hates it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but uh, yeah, I'm pushing for it. I'm not going to lie, fellas. Okay, I'm pushing yeah. for it. And, yeah, and Blake Bortles. Maybe the, you can use this opportunity if you were to write. Uh, an open letter to your younger self about what it means to be a Blake and what it means to be a Blake of the year. What would you tell young Blake in a letter from grown Blake? Mm. Be it, uh, well, that the career is going to end rather abruptly. Um, like Brooks <laughs> mentioned, there's not a whole lot of winning going on. And then uh, you fight like hell with your wife to name a kid after you. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had that conversation about a Blake Jr.? No, I gave up. I think I brought it up one time and uh it didn't go very well, so it was uh that was done. Yeah, it's hard to envision a baby named Blake coming out. They got to have like frosted tips. Yeah. A necklace. Cool. Very cool. So, Blake Bortles, right. if, if you were to win, how would you uh carry yourself with such an honor of Blake of the Year? Oh, it would be massive. I mean, I think since last time we've spoke, I've, I'm doing the exact same thing, which is a whole lot of nothing. Um, but doing and doing that nothing, it would be just another level of uh, of confidence and um, a great reward. Okay, you've excelled in in Blakeness this year for yeah, sure, by far. By yeah, far. I'm living in it. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then Blake Griffin, who's I think putting right now. Uh, yeah. wh why do putting you think? For a woman, but Oh, okay, yeah. All right, go ahead. You can putt. Why don't you give the phone to the no, other brother. person we are with so they can videotape you? just made you. a putt. Oh, no. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. I'm just going to putt one-handed. Okay. Um, why do you think you deserve Blake of the Year? Um, I don't know. I've never seen Brooks putt one-handed. Um, <laughs> Blake, uh, hold on. Hold on real quick. All right. Pleasure. <laughs> oh, hey, class. Jason. <laughs> uh, he's not i'm not letting you talk to him <laughs> Worst podcast I could jason how big of a dick, dick is coach k <laughs> how big of a dick is coach k <laughs> that's why you're not that's not why you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> i know you guys uh, i don't know i've never seen i just i don't know i just drilled a putt one-handed never seen brooks do that uh -huh. okay yeah all right that's a good uh, case no, a lot of sorry, haters. Brooks. Uh, sorry, Brooks. I'm a big fan. Uh, <laughs> it's Blake, actually. Yeah, it's but thank Blake. you. It's yeah. Blake. A, a lot of haters are saying that. Blake Griffin um, that you're a system Blake, that you you've won I, the majority of your Blake of the years based on the phone I call. My, I let my Blake speak for my speak for itself. Uh, three time champion, 
um, all worthy adversaries. Uh, really proud of Brooks this year. Blake seems like he's really hitting his stride. Uh, he froze. He froze. God damn it. He froze. <laughs> he's back. Um, okay. Let's let, let's that, that was good answers by everyone. Maybe not the best answer by Blake Griffin. Who do you think? Uh, you know, we'll reveal at the end who won that round. OK, I've got my pick. Yeah, I yeah. do, too. We'll, we'll, we'll confer the answer. So that was like box. What? Yes, it's so like it's boxing. Like... So we're the judges. Yes. We'll, we'll unveil our cards. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there's three rounds. So okay. we'll unveil our cards at the end. All right. So next round, we're going to go to Blake trivia. We have a question for each Blake. Uh, do you want to start for Blake Kepka? And then I will do the Bortles question. Yeah, sure. Uh, Blake Kepka, the first question of Blake Trivia goes to you. The question is, what is the world record for going the longest without blinking? Is it over 30 minutes, over an hour, or two minutes and 13 seconds at a hockey game? Definitely two minutes and 13 seconds at a hockey game. Wow. Trust me. So I feel that- like I would know. That that's it's not technically the right answer, but I do like it. I, I'm going to count that as a correct answer. Okay. The correct answer is there was a guy in the Philippines that kept his eyes open for one hour and 17 minutes oh, wow. without blinking. So I don't know what tournament can he I had be just clear won. About, can I be clear about this? I didn't blink the entire game. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. So it's you. So it's you then. That's you. <laughs> uh, long enough, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Good answer. All right. For Blake Bortles, here's your question. Um, this sports commenter got so triggered online, he complained about a father of four who tragically died because while still alive, that father of four liked a certain quarterback who played for the Dolphins and might have sent him a couple memes. Chris Sims. Yes. Yeah. That's correct that's good. Answer. Good answer. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Chris Sims did uh, actually uh, attack a father of four who tragically died and was still upset at that man after he passed away. He was mad that he got me. Yeah. yeah. Was it actually Chris Sims? Yes, it was. It, yeah. was, it was. He got Jeez. to the two and on guy, unfortunately passed away. Really, really sad story. And Chris memes went on pro football talk the next day and was like, well, he was really mean to me online. So should we really feel bad that this guy died? <laughs> that sounds on par. Yeah. All right. Uh, Blake Griffin. We're in the middle of, Blake Trivia, it's your turn for your question. PFT has your question. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Blake Griffin, your trivia question. Blake Trivia, I think you're frozen. Yeah, he's frozen. Um, your trivia question will be uh, recite your favorite scene from The Quiet Place. Okay, that's pretty oh, good. Nice. All he nailed right. It. He good nailed job. it. Good job, Blake. <laughs> yes. Good actor. Uh, okay. All right. That was round two. We're now into round yeah. three. This is going to be another tricky. One. This is a, this is have another trick. This is a speed round for the Blakes. We'll start with Kepka. We'll go to Bortles, then we'll go to Griffin, and we're going to go right. until uh, two out of three can't go any further. So this is called rhymes with Blake. We're just looking for words that rhymes with Blake, and as soon as one of you can't come up with it, uh, you're out, and then we'll have one winner for this round. So, Brooks, you're up first. Rhymes with Blake. Any word? This is awful, but Drake. Okay. Yep, that counts. All right. Blake Bortles. Drake. Okay, nice. Blake Griffin. Frozen. What did what, what did Brooks say? I couldn't hear him. He said Drake. And who did what did Blake say? Rake. Steak. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is getting intense. Fake. Fake. Bortles? Lake. Lake. Okay. Cake. Cake. Yep. <laughs> Make. Good answer. Nice. Flake. 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 Yep. Shake. Shake. Yeah. All right. Lake. Blake. Blake does rhyme with Blake. Lake? No, I th- we already had Lake. Was the answer Lake? Lake has been said. Lake. Lake? In fact, Lake. you said Lake. Yeah, didn't you say Lake? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought he said Lake. No, he said he said Lake. Oh, okay. That oh. is what it is. All right, Brooks is out. Bortles. <laughs> double Lake. Fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bortles. Snake. 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 Yep. Griffin. 
uh shake but spelled like the muslim way like shake like c-h-e-i-k i I believe we'll accept it brooks does that count (laughs) yeah Yeah. all right right, portals is getting intense (laughs) capulate oh Oh, shit that's one of those ten dollar words i don't think that rhymes either Capulate Did he say is a capulate? T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the T at the end. But it sounded good. How did you get, can I stop this. How did you get from the fucking 18th green to the car so quickly? <laughs> uh, I like threw my stuff in my bag. I was like, they didn't like my. I go, the guys, they didn't like my first answer. Take my stuff. I got to get in the car. Also, I think I don't think capulate is a word. I think you meant to say copulate. Yeah. All right. Which so means come. this is means that Br- Blake Griffin is, uh, if he can give us one word here, he could win this round. Quake is an yep. earthquake. Uh, we know that. Oh, yeah, that does yeah. Uh, that rhymes. Okay. Yeah, quake rhymes. All right, so Blake Griffin wins round three. I'm going to say Blake Bortles won round one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. His round one answer for what he's done this year to be a Blake is, was fantastic. And then, um, and then round two, I'm going to give it to Brooks. I think it's going to be Brooks. Brooks. Brooks set the all-time record. He is the correct answer to that trivia All right, question. So, yeah. so, so let me get my calculator out. So that's one round for Blake Bortles, one round for Blake Griffin, one round for Brooks Kepka. Boys, there's a tie. We have to go to our tiebreaker. Um, can you please show what our tiebreaker is? It's a lottery ball machine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But there's a twist. There's, there's a, a twist. twist. There's a twist. There's a twist to it. We're going to give you guys all three <laughs> 32 numbers, correct? Yes. So you get – so Brooks Kepka, you get 1 through 33. Blake Bortles, you get 34 through 30, 66. Blake Griffin, you get 67 through 99. And first to three wins Blake of the year. And the reason why – Kepka gets more numbers is because there's no ball number three. No ball number three. So everyone has 32 numbers exactly. So are you guys ready? Oh, and then there's a, there's a hundred ball that's yeah. in the lottery machine, and the hundred ball belongs to everybody else in the world <laughs> named Blake. So if the hundred ball hits three times, everyone else except for you guys wins. I I, I gotta I gotta pause for a second and just be like, I this now Blake of the year is I gotta name my kid Blake. Right? Yes, yes. If the yeah. hundred ball hits three times. We we have now made Blake of the Year. We've pushed these guys to the point where I don't think they'll ever want to do this again. And I like it. Uh, it's the Iron Man. Yeah, it is. It is the it is a feats of strength. All right. So without further ado, we're gonna hit it. So first to three wins Blake of the Year. Not plugged in. Oh, it is. Here it goes. First number. I'm so excited. This is huge. Can we turn on the sound in the in the uh, studio? Locked in. Okay, we yeah, have our first I'll take it. Oh, one more drink, please. Okay, first ball Thank is. They're going to show it. Oh, here it comes. Get closer. Say it to Get the closer. Mic. 96. 96. So that is Griffin. Blake Griffin has won. That's huge. Oh, this guy <laughs> always wins, dude. It's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> Bullshit. Ball number two. Has oh, that looks chosen. like a single digit. That looks like a single it's digit. Small. Max. Max 54. 54. That's for Blake Bortles. Yep. Blake Bortles has one. <laughs> so much karma. <laughs> Next number. This is huge. This is intense. If anyone can get a two, two ball lead, it's going to be. No one's ever come back. No one's ever come back. What do we got here? That's two for Blake Bortles. Wow. Holy shit, he's one away. He's one away of Blake of the Year. Give me the whole bottle, please. Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and the number. Oh, that looks like a big got? one. 35. 35, so that's Bortles. That's Bortles. Blake Bortles is our Blake straight. of the Year. Blake of the Year. <laughs> Wow! Overcame a one nothing deficit. Holy shit! He said he'd been training all year for this. Blake Bortles, if you'd like to give your uh, your your victory speech. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd like to thank everybody these past year, this past year that's helped me train. Uh, shout out to Brooks and Blake, or Blake and Blake, for the valiant effort. And um, I'm gonna have to call somebody to break this fucking machine so we don't have to do this again. <laughs> 
Bortles. All right, I'm going to say this right now. This has been fantastic. Blake Bortles is our Blake of the Year. We're not releasing this till Friday, so so please don't uh, celebrate until then. But I'm going to say it right now. Next year, we're getting everyone together. We are doing it. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do a scramble. We'll do a golf video. We're going to get everyone together. No more Zoom. And we'll figure out a way to do an in-person Blake of the Year. I mean, if, bl- if, if Brooks doesn't win the golf scramble, scramble Blake of the Year, I, I don't know, know what's well, what's gonna what it's gonna take? I I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna do a five man scramble versus Brooks. So it'll be me. I, I mean, he, that's that's where we, we all have to get strokes too. No, no, and play from like <laughs> way up. You think we can beat him in a scramble? <laughs> yes. Oh, here we go. Actually, here we go. You know what it should be? It should be Brooks. Brooks has to be just as drunk though as he is right now. <laughs> yeah, it should be Brooks and Max going alternate shot on one team. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You're sitting in front of a blackjack. You're sitting in front of a car dealing head. Let's play some blackjack. You know, you know what we should do? You know what we'll do? Actually, we'll do uh, a football toss. We'll do a dunk contest, and then we'll do golf. And then if it's yes. tied after that, we'll go lottery ball. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> No more lottery balls. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thank you to all of our Blakes. We love yeah, you guys. Love you guys. You guys are a very important part of the show. So uh, thank you for everything. And uh, congrats again to Blake Bortles. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm pretty happy, guys. Congrats, Blake. Super happy for you, Blake. Congrats, man. Yeah, no, no, dude. Bortles, we need to get you doing Thanks, the, the intro for great. part of my take again. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll be Blake, called on. Yeah. Like I'm super happy for you, but this fucking sucks. This hurts. I'm not gonna lie. This hurts. <laughs> All right. Hurts. I'm gonna. You guys just want to reuse the one from last time? No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Blake Portals last last time he wow. won delivered the most monotone welcome to part of my take ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, thank you, boys. We'll talk to you. Appreciate you. Love you all. See you guys. Okay, that's our show. Uh, we didn't forget any awards, right? Uh, there might be one, Big Cat. Was there any? Jay, can you look over the list? Was there one award we had left? Um, oh, yeah, there is one. What is it? Award-winning listeners of the year. Well, no, they're not the award-winning oh, listeners. listeners of the year. Podcast listeners. Yeah, the podcast listeners. They become award-winning once they win. So they're on seven straight years. Yeah, the part of my take listeners certainly are. There's- and I do love them. More than anything in the world, besides my kids, I love the AWLs because they ride or die with us. I, I do love you guys. I it appreciate the crazy it. eight, yeah. and I want to give it to them. And but eight Pete is just that's I don't. It's never been done in terms of podcast awards. But what about uh, what about the Kelsey podcast? Yeah, they're pretty good. The uh, Daddy Gang, yeah, Daddy Gang, Had a strong Dead. year. Yeah, what about the Rosillo Heads? Oh yeah, yeah, the Ryan Boys. <laughs> yeah. Are they, are they Ryan boys or the proud boys Ryan yeah well, those are both um let's <laughs> That's see a lot of good ones <laughs> there's the uh the the bill crew Billy crew for Simmons yeah there's uh the Billy goats is what they call Billy them. goats <laughs> billionaires uh, I'm yeah. too Pay for their own fucking podcasts yeah. I'm too Lexi for my shirt the Friedman listeners yes Huberman's been coming on strong he has a lot of a lot of really stiff competition right now okay. well and like this the the Swifties kind of Adam Friedland show listeners via yeah. the Swifties. Yeah, that's uh-huh. true. The little bugs. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, okay, well, I have a coin here. Should we flip it and decide? Because we could give it to all the ones we just listed, or we could give it to our listeners who are ride or die, and we love them very much, but we don't want to be biased. Hmm. We Let's let the coin decide. Okay, what? What are we giving the listeners? Heads or tails? I would like to give every listener heads. Okay. Every one of you guys. But some of them deserve some tail. Mm, good point. Yeah. Hank, why don't you call it? Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. You guys are fucked. Or should we let Max? Yeah, do it? we gotta let Max. Yeah, do Max. It. Okay, Max, 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 call it. Yes, yes, Max, Max call, it. call it. Oh no, this is just. Oh, you haven't this flipped is, it. This is <laughs> no, Max. You got to do gearing it. Gearing up to be something terrible. <laughs> they can flip it. Um, I will say, I'll say, I'll say tails. I'll tails. Say tails. Tails. Say tails. Okay. Yeah, it never, never fails. fails. I'm gonna let it land. They actually might lose this year. I can't believe we. They might yeah. lose. No, why do we do this? Really. 
Let the coin. Just let him win. Let Don't actually coin. make Billy, it. Stop. Let the coin talk. But, uh, oh! oh! That hit the, that hit the cup. It hit the cup. Oh, <laughs> it bounced off the cup. <laughs> no, dude, we can't. Just, just let him win like every year. No. It's him! Oh! Hey! Eight years in a row. That'll be the first one. Clearly hit the cup. It did. It bounced it off. It very clearly hit the cup. It, it always never counts when you it hits the cup. Hit the you can't, cup. You can't you hit the cup. You cannot hit the cup. You can't hit the cup. It hit it's on a win its for side, me. right? It hit the cup. You yeah, can't hit the, off cup. the cup. Can't do yeah, it. Can't do the cup. One for the listeners, Max. Stop Holy being selfish. shit. <laughs> Eight years in a row. We do sincerely love you guys so, so much. Uh, thank you for everything. Honestly. Yeah. You guys, you guys are a big deal to us. So yeah. We appreciate you tuning in, you listening. All the mean tweets, all the nice tweets, everything. Uh, we do we do very much love you guys. Yeah, we have. We are all blessed. We have the greatest job in the entire world. There's still days I wake up and I'm like, I can't believe people like listening to us. Mm -hmm. We're a bunch of fucking idiots and losers, Max. Uh, but yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's incredible how many people listen and ride with us and support us so you deserve it eight years in a row and it did hit the cup we all mm -hmm. saw the cup it that does not count it bounced right off the it cup. bounced the cup but you can't have you it went sideways it, it went 90 degrees yeah. off the cup yeah you can't do the cup we all know right because it's the cup right exactly so awls eight years Don't in a row table. i'll hit the fucking table if i want eight years in it's a, row. a celebration yes congratulations let's get clap it up good job, great guys. takeies all AWLs. How much money do you think we can sell those tickets to for the tenth year? Uh, I'm actually doing the math in my head. <laughs> Depending on the size of the theater that we got, we wait. Why didn't we? We, we could. We should do it in Saudi Arabia. We could. We could yeah. put a hundred grand on red. Yeah. What a thrill that would be. Yeah. yeah. What a thrill that would be. Have everyone just walk down to the casino with us after? Yeah. Oh man, I'm getting excited thinking about it. All right. Uh, last up. The queen has already taken 69. No, but that's a false start. That's not a false start. That's she a false is start. she is a wonderful presenter. Guest get special privilege. Guest right? get yeah. special and privileges. And also Billy, what she's supposed to do, still be alive and wait for numbers? Yeah. yeah. Come on. She's so, dead. So so the queen gets 69 uh numbers. 17. 18. I'll go 26. I'm going to go 99. I was married to 69. I'm kind of like feeling some freedom picking another number now. Oh, yeah. Can switch up positions yeah. a little bit. The queen, like, yeah. dude. The queen. No, dude. Now I'm like, yo, like, I, I want to see how, uh, let's see how 46 rides around. Okay. I'm going to go for eight. Biden. Eight. Lib of the year. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> True to form. It's going to be electric if someone got this. If I get 46 right now. Looks like a 87. Wow, Ooh, 87. Baby Gronk. Yeah. Baby oh. Gronk. <laughs> he rizzed up that lottery machine. Damn. I'm a Baby Diggs guy. Always will be. <laughs> love you guys. I mean it. I love you guys. Gila monsters are venomous. <laughs>